hello. Hi, Hyper RPG, and welcome back to He Left It Dead, a perfectly lighthearted <laughs> and mm -hmm. fun thing mm -hmm. that we do here on Hyper RPG. Uh, I'm super excited to be back. Uh, super excited to be back with you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting Volume 1 enough that uh, we're doing a Volume 2. So Whee! I'm super excited yeah. to have my weekly excuse to be weird because my day job does not permit it. Um, I have to be funny at that one. This one I get to be really just kind of like fucked up. Uh, I'm Joe, your keeper, as they call Ooh, it. That is what they call it. Call of Cthulhu. Uh, joining me again, Matt, Kim, Emma, Bert, and Zach. Hey, buddy. How you I've doing? been demoted since we last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. actually, that's very true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's weird. I don't have to be as nervous around you anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> cut to Malika just leaning in the <laughs> <laughs> Um A lot of cool ways you guys can participate in the show. Uh, let's get through them and uh, read them. Uh, so uh, at $25, you guys can uh, add a reroll to the reroll bank with hashtag reroll. Uh, and thank you. If you've watched volume one, which by the way, if you're like, oh, this is volume two of a thing, I'm out of here. You don't have to have seen volume mm -hmm. one to jump into this. So welcome aboard. Uh, but uh, it's hard to uh, succeed in rolls in this, so your your uh, your re rolls are greatly greatly valued. Some of us, maybe more than others. <laughs> yeah, I hey. believe I built my character correctly this time. <laughs> I <laughs> also I, I did perfect. build my character correctly. This I just time. Uh, I'm believing Again. in my dice more. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. the hard like believe? that's okay, like good, a heart of the good. cards sure, kind sure, of thing. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, for uh, at thirty dollars uh, and hashtag sanity, uh, you can. Give uh, you can give a character back uh, a little bit of sanity. I believe one d six worth of sanity. Nice. Uh, this game is all about uh, just it, uh, wearing these people down until their brains break. So that is sort of giving them a break and getting them back up on their feet. Uh, for thirty five dollars, hashtag insanity. Uh, you can give a character a traumatic flashback where we a learn something about them and b. Uh, they suffer 1d4 worth of sanity and continue to spiral down into whatever happened to Matt in the uh, last <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, at hashtag phobia, $50, you can give a character oh, yeah. a permanent oh, phobia. Boy. This oh, is boy. this is my favorite part of the game is the weird stuff you guys come up with <laughs> to make these people pumpkin suffer spice. with. Uh, the last oh, one kicked gosh. off with pumpkin spice, and then eventually someone was scared of clothes, and then someone would... And then, but then we got really existential, and it was like the dread of feeling uh like you'll never amount to anything. like you'll never <laughs> amount to anything the Which dread is just of real life yeah by the, the dread way. of turning 37. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Joe! Woo! Happy birthday! Uh, for seventy-five dollars, this is different uh, than last time. Uh, seventy-five dollars hashtag evil. You can create an evil encounter. You oh. can uh, you can summon something uh, sinister that our players are going to have to uh, oh. to deal with. And oh then <laughs> at one hundred dollars hashtag GM, uh, you get game master powers. Uh, uh, where you get to sort of make some decisions as to how the story is going and where it's going. And uh, that was a lot of fun last time, too. You guys literally reshaped the story every episode and got us somewhere really kind of twisted and dark. Yeah. Uh, that said, do we have a little Magic the Gathering we after do. the show? We're going to be playing it. Commander after this tonight. Yeah. And it's going to be me versus Matt versus Naeem. And if those games are short, if you want to jump in one, you're more than welcome to. You're probably going to have to let Naeem borrow a deck because he's he doesn't even own a deck. Cool. 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 I can't oh. believe so that. So would you oh. say oh. that right now I could say he d I didn't even know he had a commander? <laughs> Throwback to Thanksgiving. My heart yo, is still broken. Yo, Naeem threw some mad shade at Bird at Thanksgiving. Ooh. At Thanksgiving? Oh, Thanksgiving? oh, yeah. As we were playing commander with about 12 people and Naeem's about to throw like a really heavy blow. He was like, oh, I didn't even know you had a commander because Bert hadn't done anything the whole game, and it was really sad and depressing. Aww. So uh, we're going to play Commander tonight, and lots of uh, trash talk will probably go down. I will win. Matt and Naeem will learn valuable lessons. And it's true. Bert, better if he jumps in, will yeah. maybe get some revenge. <laughs> no, I don't get to draw things okay. in that game. <laughs> well, guys, you won one last week, though. I did. I won one Your Sunday. first game of Commander. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was good. It's, good. Oh. it's basically you and my Lynn just kill each other. And Baby's I first up. win. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. It's okay. Well, letting the enemies destroy one another is a completely valid strategy. On the note of letting you destroy one another, let's jump <laughs> into hey. volume two. <laughs> uh, well, we're not friends? Of He Left It Dead. Okay. So, we start uh, with the horn blowing of a steam engine paddle boat on the Ohio River. Uh, docked in Louisville, Kentucky in 19, 
25. It's a creepy it's fucking boat. So <laughs> yeah, it's a really it's creepy haunted. boat. <laughs> and it's super scary at this boat. Actually, the Queen Mary now. It's the Queen Mary. Yeah. <laughs> really in Long Beach. <laughs> Uh, it's a be- it's a beautiful boat. Uh, it's it's painted pure white. The uh, the sun's starting to go down. Uh, they've started to um, add a lot of lights uh, to the boat. Yeah, we can totally kill the scary music for now. <laughs> Follow the story. Follow the story. We're on, we're on a boat. It's a gambling boat. I'm on a boat. It's, pretty it's right a river. Now. Uh, wait, what's it? Uh, you're trying to open the story. It's, it's the river like, of the damned. No. <laughs> uh, river boat gambling trip. Yes. yes. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We've literally never done those things. <laughs> oh <And back>. my god! <laughs> it's a beautiful white ship. There's a, uh, there's three decks. Um, there's electric lighting all over it. A lot of ships at this time don't aren't quite you know super decked out now, but this one has obviously had a lot of money uh, put into it. There are people lined up uh, to board, showing tickets to a ticket taker. The, it's already starting to fill up. Um, the steam calliope is playing, and everyone's kind of like, yay, with that just the doot, 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 that thing's mm-hmm. going. Um, there's a band warming up on the very upper deck of the ship um, that you can see. Uh, and we are going to uh, sort of start in the ticket line with a gentleman who is handing his ticket to the ticket taker. Bert, will you please introduce your character? <coughs> yes, I am uh, Bernard Benson. Uh, he probably looks like he doesn't belong on this boat, wearing kind of, not raggedy clothes, but clothes that definitely aren't fancy in any way, shape, or form. A, uh, a blue denim jacket, clothes that might look like worn fatigues, uh, from the Great War. Uh, he wears a lot of the clothes to hide himself, uh, and as he just kind of quietly and unemotionally hands his ticket over, um, you can tell, maybe a passerby, if they looked, uh, closely enough, would see that... Uh, Most of his neck and uh, throat and back of his head is covered with uh, horrendous uh, scars. Uh, The young man who is taking your ticket is just staring directly at them. Um, uh, Sir, you're... uh, uh, What? The dress coat... It's black. Is there a problem here? Uh, Jack, uh, he's sort of like looking at... uh, no, no problem. I Great. Suppose. Go, go, go right, right on board, sir. Thank you uh, very much. He sort of stares at you. Um, as you leave, you step onto this boat. Um, a couple of uh, girls who have already had a bit too much to drink sort sure. of uh, push past you really quickly. They're in their, you know, their full flapper uh, regalia, and they're sort of laughing and giggling. Um, uh, as you step onto the boat, there's sort of, you know, the the deck on the outside and then there's the interior and as you look in you can see a bar uh there's a uh, mostly just sort of people mingling and talking there's stand-up tables sort of on this level um no one dancing or anything like that um but you can sort of hear the band upstairs uh warming up there's a bar yes in 1925 i'm gonna go straight to it yes <laughs> Ooh, yes right. there is <laughs> i'm gonna go oh, <laughs> <coughs> is this uh, flag someone? Is this for real? Is this for real? Uh, is, w- is what is uh, what for real, uh, sir? I just it, is this like entrapment or? <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> we, I can I can I can buy booze, sir. Uh, whose boat do you think you're on? <laughs> just I'm just I just make sure that I know normally if we they wait till we got what, what screw it uh, a whiskey. Absolutely, sir. And uh, don't worry about it. We own this river. He kind of winks. <laughs> think I'm in the right place. Takes a bottle, presents, pours, pours himself a little bit. Cheers. Yeah. And as you take a sip to drink, we move down. There's a gentleman at the end of the line waiting to board the ship um, who seems maybe a little nervous a little uncomfortable maybe sort of feeling like uh, he's definitely not supposed to be here or shouldn't be here doesn't feel at home here Matt would you please introduce your character Uh, hello I'm Gordy Fitzgerald I'm a 
I am a young entrepreneur. I love Gordy so much already. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I'm an inventor of sorts. I like to pitch my, my creations to people, and sometimes they buy them. Sometimes. I wish they did more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, things aren't going so well for me right now. I am just trying to find some work to, so I can to compensate me while I make the, my inventions and try and try and make a living off of what I love to do. So, so the gentleman that uh, you've been talking to now for a few minutes in line has finally just gotten a little frustrated with you and it's just like, son, I, I need you to get to the point of this contraption. Now, ah. what's it going to do? Ah, yes. Well, this contraption, you see, think of the ancient Greeks, right? They, they threw the discs. The ancient Greeks. They threw discs, right? Flying giant discs. Now, let me tell you, this is a piece of silicone that I've made into a flying <laughs> disc, but it's lighter and it'll <laughs> glide faster and glide further than any disc you've ever thrown before. It's called flying disc light. <laughs> And now I, I know, I know. <laughs> what an amazing name. But think about it. You can have a lot of fun with this disc, this light disc that well, flies. Dare I say it's <laughs> far out. Let me ask you, um, let me ask you sort of a final question on this, <coughs> on this disc. Oh, please. Are you getting on this boat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am. I am <sighs> getting on this boat. He sort of just does a full turn away from you as the line sort of slowly inches forward. Well, I'll, I'll be here. <laughs> I, I, I won't push you. Just think about it. Think about it, sir. Maybe you have a kid at home. He might love this. Just tell him that old Gordy Fitzgerald sent it your way. He finally just turns around very quickly. Yeah, yes? Shut up. Do you understand me? Uh, yes, sir. We're, I'm not going to be polite with you anymore. I've been polite for almost a half hour. You're absolutely right. You're not, and you haven't even tried it. You just tried it once. You might like it. Last, son, last chance. I won't push any further. Son, I'm going to roll that as much as I can and I'm going to put it in your ass. You know, I think well, I have a solution to this problem here. I take the disc out of his hand, and I throw it off into the water. <laughs> you know, he's right. Look at it fly. <laughs> you know, I the think guy you got sort of gives you a laugh and kind of... I think uh, you got yourself a buyer here. Oh, great. <laughs> what did you say that disc was called? It was the Flying Disc Light. The Flying Disc Light. It should sure take it's, off uh, there. It's going. It's going real far. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It hit the water. Oh. It's a, it floats, too. I can see it there on the oh, water. We can still retrieve it. Oh, there's dolphins in, over here in the... There's dolphins in, in the, the river. In the river. How there's dolphins water. in the river. Dolphins. Fresh water dolphins <laughs> in this <laughs> river. Listen here, buddy. Oh, I don't no. really know your name here, oh, but I'm no. trying to help you out in this situation. We're about to get your ass handed to you. No, I had it under control, okay? You just threw my prototype. <laughs> I know how, how hard it was for me to make that the perfect it was aerodynamic. A, it was a circle. <laughs> It wasn't just a circle. It was a piece of plastic or, or silicone that I made very dense that was able to f fly far. And, and you only brought one with you. It's, uh, yeah. If you're going to throw a thing, you might want to bring an extra. Well, I don't have enough money to make extra, mister. What was your name? And on that note, JJ. Zach, <laughs> please introduce your character. JJ Fixton. JJ Fixton? Private Eye. Ah, P.I. <laughs> kind of a... Kind of a mean thing you just did for a private eye. <laughs> a mean thing? You got some sort of standard that you're following here? I mean, I, I assume what, what you What are your did. rules and regulations that you follow uh, and, and your perception of what it is that you think I, as a private eye, should be following? The law? Perhaps? Oh, the law, you say? <laughs> the law, you say? Do you see a badge anywhere on me here? No, Good I don't sir. see, Do you I see, don't a, see badge a badge. Anywhere? That's right, because I don't work for the law. I work for myself. And I would like, if you don't mind, a thank you for keeping you. With your face out of your ass. Sometimes you gotta take a beating before you make money. You know what? I think I'm. Uh, I've about had enough I can have with you, good sir. And I'm just gonna. I'm gonna move forward. Same. Into this establishment here. We're in this line. Hey, I have an idea for another. Pick. No, I Would think you, you said enough. You know, I think. Uh, I think we've had a good enough conversation. I hear here. you. Thank you for saving my ass. Now, if you want to talk some more, I can save your ass. I'm gonna take my with ticket. Some okay. Fun. And you, I've got a cane, by the way. As I'm walking, I got a limp on my right side. Man. 
take my ticket and uh you know, I gotta see somebody about a dog, so I'll see you inside. Okay. I so uh, JJ, JJ uh, sort of walks away, and he just straight up like limps his way through a line of people, uh, uh, with uh, the talk of seeing people about a dog and make way and this and that, uh, and you sort of. I'm looking for whiskey. Okay, so you sort of uh, you're sort of approaching the ticket taker. Mm-hmm. Uh, sir. Yeah, uh, JJ Thixton. I was a. Uh, Sent here for official business. Sort of gives you a look and <coughs> enjoy, sir. That's it. You got any uh, got any tickets or any uh, anything I need else with it? You you gonna provide anything else here for me? <laughs> no, sir. I just look at this ticket and I let you on the ship. <sighs> okay, that's it. Where where can I find the uh? Where can I where can I see a man about a dog? <laughs> <laughs> he just sort of points <laughs> towards the uh, inside of the ship. Just right there, right th- the whole ship. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be all right. This is uh, I'll be damn. Okay, I'll see you inside. Oh no, you're working. You're working. Never mind. That man behind me though. Don't let him talk too long. Just take his ticket. Get, get him right out of there. All right. Who, sir? Is there a problem? No, you know, never mind. Never mind. It's no big deal. But if he tries to sell you a light frisbee thing, it's out in the water. Yes, sir. He doesn't have any more. Also, there's no dogs on the ship. There's, whiskey. There's no I'm looking for whiskey. Oh yeah. I can get that here. Yes, sir. Whiskey. I'm trying to see somebody about a, a man about a dog. I did. We all speak in common English here. I don't. Know. Sir, I gotta. Take I'm gonna. I'm gonna go on inside. People. I'm gonna. <laughs> so I, I, I walk away as JJ boards. Um, sort of move back past Bernard at the bar. Uh, several uh, dancing girls sort of step out from a uh, from a side door and uh, to the cheers of. You know, people on board are dancing and greeting people and saying hello. They're going to sort of move past these girls as they come out just to sort of this impromptu backstage area. It's more of a storage closet that has a mirror set up in it uh, where several girls are sort of uh, finishing them, uh, uh, finishing up, sort of getting ready, and they're being barked at by a very impatient uh, stage manager who um, has clearly been at them all night. Uh, and as uh, this gentleman is yelling at you to uh, quit looking at the mirror and get out there, Emma, will you please introduce your character? Why, sure. Her name is Florence Abernathy. She is a chorus girl. She used to dance with the Westchester Laureates on 42nd Street in New York. But she's left that life behind now and is headed off to better things and bigger horizons. And she's getting ready to go out on stage. What are you still doing in here? Listen, you can't rush perfection. Look, are you a dancing girl? I'm a girl and I am a dancer. And that's a dress and it's for dancing? Why, sure. And those are fucking shoes and they're for dancing? Well, I wouldn't necessarily take such a mean tone about it, but sure thing. Just get out there and do what we hired you to do. All right, jeez, pushy much? Yeah, it's my job to be pushy. Like, it's your job to dance. I, uh, go out to go on stage and dance. Oh, these fucking girls. So... <laughs> <laughs> As Florence sort of uh, <laughs> joins this uh, group of, uh, of women who are, you know, just sort of a- approaching gentlemen and greeting them and uh, asking if they can go get them a drink and, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we hear uh, a gentleman on the ship uh, call all aboard. And as people are continuing to line up down the ramp on the street opposite facing the boat, a lone figure is sort of watching and appraising and looking for an opportunity, uh, let's say, to uh, get her evening started. Uh, Kim, will you please introduce your character? I found my target. He's strapping, young, seems a little dim. It's perfect. I need an easy way in. So I walk towards him. <coughs> okay. There's a um, there's a gentleman who just uh, uh, got out of a uh, Model T. Uh, he is, uh, as you watched, he got out and he's just yelling at a at a woman who's inside, just like, "Well, if you were gonna be like, why why do we even leave the house? If you're just gonna, we were gonna have a nice night. We were gonna have a nice night and." <laughs> And now you're just going to be like this 
Fine, fine, fine. You know what? Take her home. Take her home. I'll, I'll have a nice night myself. And as the sort of Model T is going, he's just, I, I don't, I don't need you, Abby. I'm gonna have a nice night myself. This boat. I'm, I'm gonna own this boat. You troubled, sir? And he just like, as the words "I'm gonna own this boat" sort of roll off his lips, this sort of uh, vision with an accent uh, kind of appears in front of him. Oh no. No, ma'am, no, no, no trouble. Uh, just, uh, you know, about to... Heading up there. Yeah. Alone? Uh, apparent. I don't know how much you just saw. Uh, we're... I just heard a lot of yelling uh, and a oh, lone figure walking yeah, towards you know, a that, ramp. That happens. It's not, we're not, you know, we're, it's more like engaged to be engaged. Um, it's nothing, uh, f- official or, or anything. Tonight? Uh, you alone? Y- 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 yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm... Do you I'm, want to be? I'm Alex. Uh, no, no, ma'am, I really don't. Apollonia Wayworth. Apollonia Hello? Formerly uh, London Society. He sort of takes your hand and, uh, yeah, uh, how, how, how are you? That'll do. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love for you to, to join me. Would up, you, you know, escort a lady up a ramp? Absolutely. I've got I've got my ticket. I, I'd be happy to show your ticket to the to the gentleman and... and oh, um, pardon. Can I check my pockets? A little purse that I have with me. Oh, crumbs. Is everything all right? Uh, it's, um, look inside my satchel and I've misplaced it. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I think, I'm silly. you know, she, no. ju- she just drove off with hers. I, I just, I've just got, I've just got my, my one. I would have gotten it from her if I knew you were going to need it. No, that, that no, doesn't make right. any sense. Uh, well, uh, do you want to be dangerous? Um, uh, uh, do, do uh, I you did say you weren't keen on spending the evening alone, and neither am I, and I really do need to get on that boat. Uh, hey, uh, go ahead and uh, let's <coughs> roll your uh, charm. Okay. Where is this? I can't see for anything right That's now. So roll under a seven. Okay. Just tell me what to roll. And All right, you get the first crack at these dice. What? Go, oh, baby. What? Yeah. You got this. Oh, my God. That's S- a six. Six. Whoa. Damn. Okay, Solid. that is... Um, uh, what is your... Um, actually, wait, I can look at it myself. Okay. Wow, okay, that is a hell of a success. Uh that was you you would have passed an extreme roll okay. uh, that would have charmed the pope um, I knew the pope was here you know I've always <laughs> lots of important people here I've always <laughs> whiskey I've always wanted to be dangerous and I've always known I, I could be if I was given the chance you know my uh, uh, my dad's a, a preacher so you know I don't get a lot of opportunity to be dangerous but I, get I, I me can on that be jack I and I'll give be. you a present oh oh um yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? I I'm a, I'm a, here. You take my ticket, and uh, I I will I'll get us both on that that ship. They won't say no to me. I know th- I, that's that's Jimmy Flint uh, taking tickets. Uh, mm. We know each other from way back. So you are again. Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm Peter. Peter. Yeah. Peter what? Oh, uh, Thomas. Peter Thomas. Peter Thomas. Um, uh, my dad preaches at Sa- down at St. Matthew's. Um, it's all right. I won't tell. Oh, thanks. Uh, well, let's uh, let, God, let's 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 go be dangerous. Okay. He let's. sort of offers you an arm. Takes uh, it. And uh, as they're calling for uh, all aboard, you guys step up to the mm-hmm. ramp and start walking up. As uh, Gordy, you are handing your ticket to the ticket taker. Ah. You, you don't have any more of those the, those things you were throwing. Oh, I wish. Right, <laughs> everyone here would buy them in a heartbeat. No, I'm just saying because if you throw something like that in there, someone's probably going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, someone's not fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> take your ticket and just sort of gestures for you to, to head on in. Ah! Uh, and you two sort of... Uh, head up 
Apollonia, you and Peter Thomas. Uh, t tickets? I pull out the one that uh, Peter gave me. Uh, he I takes it. it. Uh, he nods and sort of rips, hands it back. Um, <laughs> hey, Peter. And, uh, Peter Thomas is like, hey, man, can look, can you do me a solid app? Uh, this is my, my date for tonight, and she didn't have a ticket. And, um, uh, you know, if you could just sort of do us a solid and just, you know, let me on board. <laughs> uh, and then he was eaten go by an alligator. Like <laughs> a dolphin river, river dolphin, <laughs> snatched up. The, Those freshwater the dolphins. Sort of young man <laughs> taking tickets, just kind of size. Peter, you know I can't let you on without a ticket, man. <laughs> and you know, I, you know, I can't look over to Peter's friend and go, "What's your name?" Uh. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember the name that Gordy. I just gave myself. G Gordy. No, that's that's uh, Matt, right? That, that, that's oh, Gordy. that's you. Yeah. Never You're mind. Gordy. That's Gordy. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stephen, ma'am. Stephen. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Do a lady a favor. I, I'd love to, ma'am, but I, I'd get in more trouble than it might be worth if I let someone on this boat without a ticket. I grab the side of his head. Stephen. Look at me, love. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll your power. Okay. That is, where is that? Uh, that's at the top under top. your characteristics. Right there. Aha. Uh -huh. rolling these. Ooh. It's, nope. Nope. It's 88. Doesn't do work. Do we have any re-rolls? Oh, do we have any re-rolls? We do. We have three re-rolls. I will take oh, one. Nice. Get I on the ship. I need to get on the boat. Well, you have, <laughs> you are on you the have boat. a ticket. You, okay. oh. Right now, you are trying to get... Peter on the boat, yeah. if that matters or not. It does. Okay, you're trying to get Peter on the boat. That's a success. Okay. 51. 51. It works this time. Y yes, ma'am. Please. You wouldn't leave a lady unattended for the evening. This kind gentleman was... It's, it can be dangerous. Gracious enough to... You're right. It oblige. Can, with the kind of people on this boat, it could be dangerous. So you will let my companion on? Absolutely. Peter will, Peter will take care of you. Good man. Good man. And then I walk forward. As you start to walk forward, he also starts to walk forward with you, as does Peter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I notice that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, turn I mean, he's like right. Okay. With you. Is he still under my thrall? I won't leave you unattended, ma'am. Oh no, 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 sir. Um, Peter was the gentleman kind enough to join me. You want to do your job well, don't you? Of course I do. And then My job is to keep you safe. And I indicate the line of people still waiting to board and make sure no ruffians come aboard to give me any trouble. Yes, ma'am. I, I will. Good man. And he just goes up. Um, there's really no one left standing, but he just kind of goes back and just stands and mans his post as um, uh, the, the calliope sort of starts to play again. As you guys feel the boat pushing off from the dock, um, JJ, or I'm sorry, Bernard, oh, that's good. Uh, you are sitting at the bar. Um, how's that? How's that drink treating you so uh, far? This is the th second one. Okay. Uh, and I'm finishing it, and I'm. I'll take another. Okay. So as you uh, order your third whiskey. Um, the phobia that you developed. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh no! This so it begins <laughs> for alcohol. What? It starts to kick in, and as you <laughs> maybe of alcohol. Maybe it's been a while. Maybe it's been a, a a little while since you had a drink. Sure. Well, no, it hasn't been. No, uh, it really. No. It's like the crux of my character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> It absolutely <laughs> literally just says he's always drinking alcohol on the character sheet. Oh, uh, my God. That's cool. I'll, I'll roll it. Uh, the problem is alcohol does not make you the best sure. drunk mm. in the world. And um, mm. as you take that third drink and that mm. sort of familiar wave uh, pushes into you, I need you to make a check against your sanity. Sure. Do I need to do some sort of story with this, too, or no? 
Um, no. Okay. No, this, this is just sanity. straight up phobia. Okay. Cool. Like. Oh, that's Ooh, pretty good. That's pretty good. That's 24. Uh, so that's half of my current sanity. So I passed. But I lose sanity now, too? Say again? I also lose some sanity, right? You succeed. Even with succeeding? Uh. How well did you succeed? Uh, by like twenty. Oh. Okay, yeah, you're gonna lose. Okay. You're gonna lose one. Oh, I can do so, that. So, um, <gasps> sort of have the drink. Um, yeah, this sort of moment hits you a little bit where your nerves are up a little, and that that rush of feelings that can come with alcohol, where one minute you're angry, one minute you're a little sad, one minute you're a little apprehensive, sort of washes over, uh, but then starts to clear um i guess i slide the drink away okay uh jj you were also looking for uh whiskey i believe yeah i believe i found some at okay the, uh, the bar considering yeah. there's a bar all over this uh room. you um bernard uh find a gentleman with a cane uh sitting next to you at the bar can i buy you a good drink there soldier uh i'm good here uh i'll tell you what uh i no longer want this anymore <laughs> oh oh just to make it clear i'm not a soldier I didn't that, serve. That's you see, this 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 injury here, I got that on account of I uh, tried to kill myself. <laughs> oh, gee. I mean, I didn't actually do that. I uh, well, I, yeah, I woke up I woke up at the bottom of a cliff bed, and uh, the last I remember, uh, my right leg wasn't working too well. And you, well, I just don't want you to get confused and think that this was on account of me being some sort of war hero or something like that. Was it? I'm assuming you and yourself uh, possibly maybe took a took some shrapnel to the throat. As cripples, you know, we got to stick together. <laughs> Gas. Oh, it was gas, you say? No, I've never been gassed myself. Uh, never really been around too much gas, really. Uh, what, what was it like? It was an unpleasant feeling? You know, my leg, it, it hurt real bad when I woke up at the bottom Falling of that Falling down cliff the side. cliff. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, cool. the, they say that I did it to myself, but I don't remember it that way. Just I don't trying remember to kill it that yourself. way at all. Well, that's what they say. You're not a, you're not a hero. Not a hero. No, definitely. Never, never served anything like that. You, you see, I'm a private did investigator. Not, did you not want the, Oh. <clears throat> Uh, I oh, think got, I heard someone's... You got a problem with private investigators? You hiding there or something? I'm just no. kidding with you. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking for you or anything like that. You know, I was called here. I'm sorry. Did you of... say you had a name, sir? JJ. So Florence, JJ. Florence, where are you in the room right now? Oh, I am... Uh, we just finished up our first set, and so now I'm going to get more to drink. So I'm headed towards the bar. Okay. Sounds where good. Where they are. <laughs> so as you approach, uh, these two gentlemen are <laughs> chatting back and forth. Look, did you did you want this or not? And how? Great. That's a smart man. Wouldn't waste perfectly good booze if you know what I mean. It's hard to find if you know what I'm saying. It's everywhere. On account of I was surrounded by everybody else that's doing it, I'm not too worried about getting busted in a joint like this. You see, we're out in the river. It's like maritime laws, right? Yeah. Now you in, you served in the army. Is that how it works? You know, there's a lot of things you can do overseas and get away with. <laughs> like drinking? They don't have prohibition over there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, Florence Abernathy. Hello. Pleasure, I'm sure. What's your name, sir? I'm Bernard. What's... I'm sorry. Do you know each other, the two of you? Oh, no, not at all. No. JJ, hey, nice to meet you. Hi, just Florence to Abernathy. Nice, oh, to nice to meet you, you sir. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. Okay. No, I'm just, you know, have a break in between sets dancing and, well, yeah. got to refuel. Uh, honey, can I get a Manhattan, please? Yes, ma'am. So the uh, bartender sort of goes back to work. It's uh, so nice to be able to do that instead of having to ask a man about a dog. I agree. <laughs> I agree. They don't, even, they don't even recognize the phrase around here. They're so used to just being asked outright. I know. I asked someone about a dog, and he told me there was no dogs on this boat. Samesies. Gordy, where are you? <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of browsing the, the scenario. I see them in the distance. Are you inside? I am inside, okay. yes. Uh, I'm just kind of looking for my next person I want to pitch to, and I see that these people are drinking, so <laughs> <laughs> that they might want to possibly yeah. purchase okay. anything that I may have. As you, uh, as you sort of take, you sort of spot your marks, and you take a step forward, um, mm -hmm. as you do that, the boat sort of starts to push off uh, in the dock, and all of those feelings you've always, and concerns you've always had about oh, no. deep water, oh, no. and more specifically, the things that are under the water <laughs> waiting to get you. Oh, the fucking dolphins. You sort of <laughs> you set yourself up. You did this. Yep. This is your fault. <laughs> um, you sort of picture... <laughs> the 
man's never been to a river in his life. <laughs> Uh, you picture uh, all those um, whales <laughs> out there. <laughs> there are such things as river dolphins, yes. but that, uh, not in the not, United yeah. States, I don't think. It's yeah. like the worst hockey team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> river, river dolphins. Um, uh. You sort of picture that disc that you created sort of like floating in the water, and uh, you just get this image of just tentacles reaching up, oh my wrapping God. around it and just pulling it uh, down into the depths, uh, and I need you to make a check against your sanity. Okay. How is my sanity on this guy? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. All right. I'm using a reroll. I'm using a reroll. Do we okay. have one? We have, we have after one this, more. we have one, one more. Okay. Sweet. Success. 34. Uh, okay. 60. So there's a moment where you start to get really uncomfortable. You sort oh. of reach out. There's a, there's railing sort of running oh. uh, across uh, the walls. You sort of grab it for a little for a moment just to steady yourself. You take a deep breath, it passes, you do lose one point. It's gonna be okay, Gordy. It's okay. You know, mom always supported you. You got this. You can do this. All right? And you as you take this. a deep breath and set steady yourself and head towards um, your, your new marks, uh, you're not necessarily paying attention as you sort of try to shake this off and you slam right into uh, a gentleman escorting a very lovely uh, lady? Oh, I, I, I am, I'm, pardon me, ma'am, I, I did not. I, you get away from her now, and he just immediately, like, <coughs> shoves you oh. against oh. the wall. Ah! Is this close enough that we can see what's happening? No. Yeah, this is a bit, like, okay. a bit, you guys sort of hear this, this big like commotion happen as happen. you sort of get pushed, pushed back real quick. Now, uh, this is, there's, what's um, his name? Peter. Peter Thomas. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, you sort of, there's a counter. Uh, where that bar is, you know, it's sort of there and there and, the, and a counter and a couple glasses sort of clink off as this guy sort of... No, oh. now, now, Jeepers, mister, calm down right now. No, oh. Mr. Thomas, Peter, said love. Drink I said and it was... Try to pull his arms away. No, 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 common mistake. The boat just launched. I didn't mean to run into you and the dame, I swear. What do you think? I, what are you just uh, just walking up on me uh, like I'm some kind of cake eater? I, uh, I, I ain't, man. I wasn't calling you one, mister. I was just trying to... I, I just, I'm not used to this ship. I'm not used to... The boats, it makes me a little uneasy. I just lost my balance is all. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I apologize. No, no, it's all right. And then I pull Peter away. And I go, love. No. You watch it. You Let's start the evening off this way. You watch it. You cool your jets, man. <laughs> be cool. Oh, you say that on this side of the pond, too? <laughs> you say it on this side of the pond, too? Well, yeah, it's the 20s. Cool your jets. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't understand what's wrong with eating cake. <laughs> it, it never, you know... There's nothing wrong with eating cake. So in that moment, this gentleman sort of walks away. Your adrenaline just got <sighs> super spiked kind of out of nowhere. Uh, and that just that moment of physicality um, oh no. recalls oh no. Oh oh no. No. <laughs> a memory that leads to a bout of madness. Oh, no. <laughs> so what memory, what he flashback does that physical altercation just sort of call up? I was... We were camping with uh, with my Boy Scout group, and uh, I was a Boy Scout at the time. In Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, yeah. And we were spending the night, and Thomas he he dared us. He said that he told us a myth that there were these that there were these creatures that would take children away in the night, and they'd never see their parents again. I I called it bluff. I I knew I knew it wasn't real. And me and the other boys we went down to the river to try and prove ourselves, and. Did he ever tell you what they looked like? Did he describe them in, in the story? Yeah. What they look like? He said they 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 looked like very moist mm. and scaly, mm. like as if they were dolphins, <laughs> but they had tentacles oh. coming out of their mouth. Terrifying. <laughs> And they would wrap the children and then eat them, like, halfway through the mouth, and then they would drown them. Oh, terrible. Quite. And when we were going down to the river, when it was at, we, the moon was shining down on, the, on it, and, you know, we, we were just watching, and we just saw a bird fly, and I saw a, a, a three tentacles shot up and grabbed that bird, and it came out of the water. It was something I've never seen in my whole life. And as that 
memory shakes you back up, uh, go ahead and roll 1d4. Add one. Mm, add a one? Mm -hmm. Shit. That's four. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So here, so right it off begins. the bat. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Cut to Matt's jumping <laughs> off the boat <laughs> into the water. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, we have this trio sort of sitting at the bar. Mm. Yeah, so I'm sorry. You said your name was... Florence. Florence Abernathy. Florence and, and, and JJ. JJ. And you guys, just out of curiosity, decided to come to this area of the bar because... Uh, to get a drink. Yeah, there yeah, wasn't a line a here. I got to get back to work. Maybe a little bit of moonshine. Oh, you're working. I figured with the chassis on you like that, you got to be one of the girls on the stage, yeah, right? Yeah, I am. I used to dance in New York, though, for many, many years. But, you know, onward and upward. Yeah, what brought you out here? Oh, just needed a change of scenery. That's it, huh? Yeah, that's change all. Change of scenery? The water? Mm -hmm. Always moving? Oh, he's yeah. From one place to another? He's a private investigator. You're a private investigator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah a lot got a bum questions. leg. Yeah. Oh. Fell off yeah. a cliff once. Try to kill himself. It so wasn't, you know, that's what they say. Yeah. What yeah. they say. He got gassed on account of the throat. I'm sure you wanted to ask. Oh, I don't think it's very polite, but since you offered, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Regular war hero here. Thank you one. for your service. Yeah. Who gassed you, by the way? Which ones of them was it? Florence from across the hall. You see the stage manager sort of gesturing at you. Epinethy. <sighs> Sorry, fellas, got a jet. And I jug the rest of my drink and go off. So as you, you're heading over yeah. to him? Okay. Just kind of push the glass that she put on the counter, like, away. <laughs> what you know, when they leave it, you can just take it. You know that, right? What yes, the hell are you no, doing over there? I'm to let a good drink go to waste. I'm, I'm, I'm I good. am just fraternizing with the patrons. Yeah, I see you fraternizing. I see you flirting, but I don't see them buying more drinks. I don't see them buying you drinks. What do you think your job is here? Oh, I thought my job was to dance. I thought my job was to dance. Yeah, and my job is to, to get on camera and recite Hamlet. You can recite Hamlet? No, I can't fucking recite <laughs> Hamlet. Because my job is to make sure you go out here and you flirt with these assholes, these wise guys, and make sure that they're buying drinks. Well, I'm sorry. I was under the impression that somebody who was hired to do something of a particular profession, of which I am an expert. Yeah, you're an expert. Look, you got hired because you're hotsy totsy and you came cheap, okay? Now get back out there, do your little dancing, do your flirting, make sure they're buying alcohol. Okay, all right. Jeez. I'm starting to think maybe they had the right idea with Prohibition. Everyone seems to be so irritable, drinking all out in the open and whatnot. Yeah. Well... Prohibition's currently what's bankrolling your uh, your day rate, so thank heavens for it. All right. He takes a shot and sort of walks off. <sighs> I go back over <laughs> towards where I was at the bar. Yeah, so after you've been sort of very publicly shamed, <laughs> that was definitely not, you know, a, a hidden um, action. What's up with that drugstore cowboy? No, oh, he's the stage manager. He says I'm not doing a good enough job getting you fellas to buy drinks, but it seems to me... On account of that, I'll take another. I make eye contact with the guy who's looking at her across the way. Ah, JJ! <laughs> <laughs> yes. JJ, my good friend, who are your, who are your friends today? Is there like oh. a sign somewhere? Is this a friend of yours? Yes, me and oh, JJ yeah, yeah, go yeah, way yeah. back. This, this one hits on all sixes, I tell you what. Uh, you know, level with me, level with me here. Yeah. What's the, what's the best thing you got in your coat right now? Oh well, I bet you're wondering. What? Don't, don't you probably hate it when you get? Uh, he's not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna pull out his willy on you or nothing like <laughs> I'm that. I'm not gonna just freak ask you out. A man, what's in his coat? I'm just. He's I, a. He's a. He's an entrepreneur. This I, one. I, I an am. entrepreneur. I pull out this roll. Now I bet you're wondering. You 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 get something really thoughtful from your mom. And it's, it's somehow, in, in the process of opening it, you accidentally ripped yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, tell yeah. it to Sweeney. You're going to have to do better than that. Now, what if I told you that you can repair that thing? Ah, come on. I ain't no pushover. Push You're going to have to do better than with that. With a stick it. You just stick it back together. Look at that. Brand new as if nothing ever happened. I call it a stick it roll. My ma's dead. Oh, uh, well, your pa. Or if you if you wrote something and it's it's ripped. Come on, I'm only selling these for... All right, milk toast. I want to see something better. Something something better? <laughs> yeah, I ain't impressed. Yeah, I was just so saying do you that's, want, just, that's do you, just tape. Do you want a drink or, or something? What did you I, say? I, I can go get you a drink. Tape. Is I'll, it, I'll so, yes, why, why, don't, Peter? why don't you get a, a drink and, and then explain your new inventions to us? Look, just like Gagging you, she's just doing her job, all right? You don't buy the drink, she gets yelled at and yeah, made a I fool and everything. Exactly, and you don't want me to get yelled at, do you? You seem like a nice fella. You should probably buy a drink. 
Ow. I, can someone spot me? Now look at that. That's how you sell. She should be doing your job. You should hire her to sell your things. When you say it, I don't want to do anything. She says it, all of a sudden you're you're See, asking for why, money to buy a drink. That's why I like JJ. The gentleman We're sort of good shoulders. <laughs> gentleman sort of shoulders in between the two of you. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this is there is there a sign on my back or something? Is everyone? I'm, I'm just trying to get a drink for uh for my beautiful date, man. Uh, uh <laughs> can I get a? Uh, I'll have I'll have a, a two two brandies. Wait wait Actually, wait 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 wait. Actually, he'll take three. Yeah, listen to her. Let her tell you what you want, then you order. I'm not here with her. I'm here with her. I get what you're saying, but ask her, her what you want. She'll get your order. What? He'll take four brandies. She's got gotcha. you. He's good for it. Roll your charm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I will do our last re-roll. <laughs> yeah, that's a success. 44, my charm is 75. Okay. Damn. Yeah, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, four, four brandies. Yeah, um, sure, 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 sure. Uh, so the bartender sort of pours He's for him. He's pouring the drinks. Yes. At this point, I'm going to excuse myself. Okay. Well, where are you going there, Will Hero? No, I'll just get out of the way. It seems like you all Oh, we could get him it. to get a fifth brandy. No, Look, I'm I want to exchange stories with you. You seem like you've cool. seen yeah. things. And yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah I got a thing I got to go And it looks like this do. one here wants to sell you some stuff. I'm yeah. just here to no. make your life well, a little better. Well, just having a good time. Bert, roll against your sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 24 uh, out of a f current 54. Okay. Nice. Uh, still so take one, though, right? Yeah, still take one. Okay. Uh, so as all this is sort of picking up and more drinks are lit literally being pushed towards you and people are saying, hey, we'll buy you one. We'll do this. We'll do that. Uh, you just want to get out of there yeah. sort of as quickly as you can. Okay. I duck out. I'm walking towards. I'm sure it's got railings on this boat. I can, like, look out. Yeah. Fresh air. Yes. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back. <laughs> Watch right. out Maybe. for dolphins. Have a good one out there. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the gentleman if he sees something floating in the water, it's one of his inventions. <laughs> ah, it was so a good one too. The gentleman pushes a brandy to Florence and sort of holds a second one to. I grab it and hand it to JJ. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, it takes JJ and he's like, "Y'all have y'all have a good night." I look back over at the. So he's walking back. The to stage Apollonia. manager, and I kind of like point at her <laughs> and I point at the extra drinks, and then I'm like. <laughs> He sort of stares at you, <laughs> and then he just stares at you, and just gives you the "you're lucky to survive the night" kind of stare, just ice. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but kind of goes about his work. Uh, Peter Thomas brings you. Uh, back How many are you carrying? He's hit one for himself. <laughs> okay, cool. Eighteen. Yeah. 18 <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, I'm I'm so sorry. Thank to, you. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Did you um, really order? How many did you order? Oh, just you know. Uh, um, I was about to say you don't have to try that hard. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not trying. Trying. I'm just trying. I'm uh, I'm just dangerous. You know, just uh, being a little. Good you man. Know, drinks on the house and. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't catch your name. I'm. Uh, I'm Peter. I've told, I've told you that already. Peter Thomas. Yes. Yeah. Apollonia Wayworth. Ap Miss Wayworth, it's a. Uh, let's. Uh, so. Um, uh, what else does uh, being uh, dangerous entail on, uh, on on this boat? Well. Why are you here? Oh, I was just. Um, you know, sort of here for the. Entertainment here and good for brandy. The party. Yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, I don't want to, don't want to drop names or anything, but, uh, I'm a friend of a friend of the owners and, uh, they, they got, they got me the tickets to sort of, sort of take the cruise. Oh, and, you really? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am, I am. I do love stories. Um, oh, you know, no, no real, no real story here. Uh, 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 my buddy, my buddy Jeremy works, works on the boat. He's, uh, I think he, he's, he's down, uh. You know, he's down. He's uh, maintenance and engineering on the boat. And Do you know if the owners are on this boat right now? Oh, the owners are always on the boat. Oh, interesting. Yes, yes ma'am. Whether it's whether it's on the water or not. How yeah. How close uh, can we get to the owners? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you know uh, we can we can at least uh, walk upstairs. They're usually on uh, the the upper decks. Mr. Marizano is usually up, oh. you know, upstairs. Private quarters. So. Well, uh, no, as you know, it's where the band is set up. I think he just likes the music and the and the, and the fresh air. And a bum game. Am I familiar with the name Marizano? The name that he just dropped right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that would be uh, yeah. That would be the the main family that you're sort of 
sort of doing intel on. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, we. I mean, we can probably go go upstairs if you want. You want to stay in, <coughs> or we could stay inside. We go upstairs. You know, it's probably a little cooler What's down here. What's more dangerous? <laughs> we private quarters. Yeah, we should probably go go up go upstairs. Uh, allow me. He <laughs> sort of offers his arm. There's a, just a clear sort of sweat <laughs> starting to uh, uh, pool on this guy who's clearly out of his depth as he um, walks you upstairs. Uh, we'll return back to the bar. Now, this invention here. Yeah, I, I hear you. Look, you all, you all go to church? You look like church people, right? No, no of course not. Exactly, no. church. Oh, Mama makes me go. Don't want to go. But what if what's in here? What's inside of this Bible? Oh, it's no scriptures. It's a flask hidden within my Bible. It looks to me like you just took a book there and you took a knife to the insides of the pages and cut out of the shape of a little flask. There. I don't see you having one, mister. No, but I've seen my friends do it all the time since I was a young one. This it's nothing special. It's not see, an invention. You know, you know, you know, you know, hops, uh, yeah, you're jump, making rope. A, you, you, jump rope, you know, jump you rope. You want to throw out the water? You want to... You want me to save you with a, a life vest there? What do, what do you... Hear me out. You know jump rope, right? A jump rope. Yes, yes. You know jump rope. Sure. Now, what if you... you I want got a bum knee. You want you insinuating jump, something sometimes here? Sometimes you want to do it with yourself. You know Are what you trying saying? to say that I can't I can't do a little bit of a jump because of my bum knee here? I'm saying you can jump, and especially with this contraption. I only got one leg. Are you I trying call to make me feel bad it. about my condition? You put this <laughs> skip it on your leg, and you you move it like this. No, I'm saying you jump over it like you're playing jump rope with you yourself. You notice I'm carrying oh, a cane here, right? <laughs> that looks fun. You yeah. might want to shift this towards the dancer. <laughs> yes, it looks a lot of fun, and it's 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 very fair, a very low price. I'm only offering it for one dollar. So as this din sort one of dollar. continues, um, Bernard, you are where are you? Uh, I needed to get away from that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that situation's all wet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm just out looking. Uh, at the water as the boat's chugging along. Lost in my own thoughts. Okay. Um, as you're sort of watching the water, you notice that there's a... You eventually notice that there's a gentleman sort of just standing next to you. Um, not being pushy, but definitely sort of trying to get your attention. Yep. I turn. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, you're... Uh, you're Benson? Who's asking? He sort of points at the top of the boat. Sure. Uh, yeah, he says, um, you know, obviously he wants everybody to uh, to enjoy themselves, but, you know, uh, business has to come at some point. Everybody. Yeah, there's a... Uh, it's more than just me. Yeah, it's not like really a one-man job, so there's a, there's a... He'll tell you all about it. Dare I ask who else is a part of this job? Uh, you know, I I don't really know what I'm allowed to talk about and what I'm allowed to, you know, golden rule, you know. Uh, if you're not sure you should say it, don't say it, and you won't end up buried or in a river. The golden rule. Yes, of course. Uh, we wouldn't want you to break any confidence. Yeah, us. no, uh, th and thank you for understanding. Oh, but there's Theakston in there. And he sort of points through the glass at the uh, at the private eye. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we work with him pretty regularly, too. Uh, he finds stuff. Finds stuff. Yeah. Missing people, that kind of thing. I don't know. He's good at it. He's got a rep. Cool. Great. Um... Thank you. And you said he wants us to meet when? Uh, you know, just uh, whenever you got a when you when you got a chance. You know, he's not a he's not a Grundy or anything. Just uh, in your own time, enjoy the night. Sure. He sort of begrudgingly, I walk back over to the spot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, war hero! Good to have you back. <laughs> Welcome back. Right now, we were just hearing about something that you put on your leg and you jump over it here and there. And <laughs> you, you skip over I'm it. I'm having the best time listening to this stuff. It's, 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 it's malarkey, but it's great. That's malarkey. You have a bum leg. That I feel like that's a. I know it was offensive that he pitched it to me in the first I place. Was but really was I think I'm ignorant enough to do it. I'm gonna let him keep going. How rude of me! I didn't introduce myself. 
I am Gordy, Gordy Fitzgerald, nice entrepreneur. To nice to meet you, sir. Florence Abernathy. Florence, pleasure, pleasure. And uh, you, sir. This is the war hero here. Get him a drink. You owe this man uh, a no, drink. No, no, no. He yeah. served I'm for fine. you. Can I get I'm a drink fine. for no, my no, friend? Please. My new friend, please. please. New what friend. are you drinking? I, I'm, I've had my Get fill. us some moonshine. You, you want got another some of that whiskey? homemade stuff? I'm, I'm, I'm good, thank <laughs> you. The homemade it's stuff, yeah. All right. Thank well, I appreciate it. I appreciate the offer. I'm sorry. It was uh, Bernard. Bernard, absolute pleasure. Now, cut, cut, look, guys, look. I'm having, a, I'm having a bit of a hard time. Cut it to me straight, all right? Are you going to buy something? No, of course not. Okay. I'll put a down payment on a house before I buy any of your silly inventions no, for I a dollar. I haven't gotten my wages for the week yet, so. You haven't gotten your wages? No, what? I just started. Oh, so you got to wait till the end of the week. I have no need of a rope jumping device. Look, look, is it my is it my pitch? Is it are these adventures? I think it's everything you me? got going. I feel like these these, Listen, these feel like you, small things. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, here's what you need to do. You need to get this. You Listen, get why this. don't you talk to the stage manager? Maybe we can No, 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 no. You keep that man out of this. No, but I'm saying if we could convince that him That man you should not trust as far as you can throw. But you keep him out of this conversation. That is not a you, But if I've I had just with that man before and you want to leave him out of it. You've had dealings with him before specifically He's where? Man. He's not a good man. I heard things. It's my job to know things and I've heard things. That you said you were a private investigator? Yeah. Yeah, he almost died once. I almost died once. They say I jumped off a ledge. It, 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 that's not how I remember it. How do you remember it? I remember waking up and it hurting. Oh no. That's about as much as I can say in the confines of the fact that we don't really know each other. Now, I feel like I know all of you more so. Yeah, we still know. Oh wait, it was the gas. I do know. I know yeah. him better than I thought. The so, gas. Oh. Oh, yeah, you got gassed. That's what happened to his throat and oh. all the scarring and everything like that. Oh, my God. You're a war so hero. Sorry. He fought for you. Buy him a drink. Buy this I'm man trying. a drink. I'm he good. Want, I don't want to force Thank him. You. Look, Thank you. war hero, hey, it's on the house. And he sort of pours there you go. a whiskey and just it's the worst phobia to put. I toss that. How come directly you don't get in trouble when you give away um, stuff for free? On the account of his penis. What are you giving away for free? You're getting disadvantages for the fact that you're a woman. So, uh, it's tell a me about glass it. of alcohol sort of gets pushed mm -hmm. in front of you, and just do a little sanity check for me. Yeah, <laughs> sure. That smell sort of. Uh, oh, God. Damn it. Oh, no. Uh, that's going to be uh, missed by one. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Do we okay. have rerolls? We sure don't. Uh, you guys burn through your rerolls. Um, Atta boy, take we this drink. Definitely use some more. <coughs> but um, okay, so you missed that Sandy check. Go ahead and roll um, a 1d6 for me. Sure. It's oh. five. Okay. Is that plus one or just the five? No, just the, just the five. Great. Okay, uh, so you take the alcohol and um, this time around when you're looking, you have a pretty unhealthy relationship. Uh, yeah. with this stuff. And this yeah. time when it sort of gets put in front of you, your brain goes, screw it. You grab it. Sure. You take that shot. Sure. Um, and you find yourself getting just um, uh, Start remembering. uncomfortably uh, angry sure. at um, at Gordy sure. over here. I mean, just seeing Red furious that this guy just won't shut up. Listen here, asshole. Nobody oh. needs your stupid gizmos and gadgets. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're Let's all here for things, and that's we're, clearly we're not one of them. We're here for a good time. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're here for a good time, so we don't good need this. Good time there, war hero. Your man has simple taste. Your man has simple taste. I'm pushing you. I didn't mean to. Maybe you'll like this. You like Sherlock Holmes? I'm going to take that drink out <laughs> of that. Here's a him fight. Him Here's page 97. Sense. Sherlock Holmes gets in a fight. But look, I look at this. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so as he continues, I just take it and I just. Hey, wet blanket. Okay. Maybe this I'm isn't the right time so to be pitching your ideas. Okay? There's a drawing of Sherlock Holmes, Mr. and then on the other page, there's another drawing of him punching. And when I do this, it's like he's punching somebody. So Gordy, he sort of uh, <laughs> Bernard sort of snatches this thing hey. away from you, um, <laughs> and uh, rips it. What do you do? Yeah, with it? I, I shred it. To sh <laughs> I rip it up. Okay, you're Ripping just pulling it, it apart. Just okay. And as you're pulling this thing apart and sort of mm -hmm. tossing it at this poor guy, uh, Apollonia, you have now uh, oh. walked upstairs with mm -hmm. Peter Thomas. Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful night out. It's um, hope uh, Sherlock Holmes can solve that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, the top deck of the boat is completely lit up. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just almost like holiday lighting. It's it's very pretty. It's summer, uh, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's lit up uh, really brightly. Um, as you walk up, uh, the humidity does hit you. Uh, it's May. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the best uh, month to be in Kentucky. 
so the, the air is a little wet, the air is a little warm and a little constricting. Um, but the band upstairs is playing. There's a, there's a, a big band actually uh, playing. Some girls are, uh, some, some dancing girls, just full, full done up gear, uh, flapper gear with the tiaras and everything are dancing. There's a lot, there's a, people gather around watching and clapping. Um, jars of moonshine, literal just straight up jars Ooh. of hooch Ooh. are, uh, are being passed around. Uh, there are booths everywhere uh, for people to sit. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's not the word. I was like, there are boobs. Damn, I'm going upstairs. What the hell? There are boobs everywhere. It's a, it's, it's a titty boat. It's okay. A titty boat. They uh, call them bubs. Yeah, they, <laughs> they called them bubs back then. I think you and I downloaded the exact same 20 slang. Uh, <laughs> I um, think we did. Uh, so, yeah, so there's booze everywhere. Uh, you know, folks uh, sitting around, laughing, talking, having a good time. And Peter's just kind of, uh, do you want to find a, a, a place to sit? Or maybe we can find, a, you know, a corner or somewhere. I'm going to let him little. speak right now. I'm, right now I'm scanning for anybody who looks important. And okay. if there's like a booth close to them. Yeah, so, uh, well, go ahead and roll your... Spot hidden? Yeah, let's go ahead and roll your spot hidden. Okay, well. And this will be this will be an easy roll. Uh, it's also nighttime, so you can roll <laughs> twice and take oh. the okay. higher. All right, so this is... Oh, this is not good, right? Uh, we'll take the higher? Yeah. Take or the take lower. take the sorry take the better yeah roll. Better. so this is my first so roll first this roll. is pretty good is it yeah what are you rolling for again my spot hidden uh that's no, not good that's not <laughs> good <laughs> you have a really low spot hidden yeah you don't succeed nope right? I don't succeed <laughs> damn uh, forty five was my lower roll and my spot hidden is forty okay so I don't succeed so you are looking around there are it's really sort of clear like who's a local and who is from out of town? There are a lot of just clearly uh, straight here from New York, um, organized family types, uh, you know, at the booths. And then there's also, you know, there's also a mix of, um, you know, wealthy looking uh, Kentucky locals. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, there's definitely not really any like riffraff or, oh, yeah. or anything like that. It's 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 definitely all upper crust. So you you definitely see that there are, um, sort of uh, mafia of five family type folks, you know, on the deck, uh, all of whom you can assume, you know, are here with um, uh, with Marizano, uh, but you can't really get a necessarily a bead on like. Which, like, really stereotypical okay. uh, 1920s <laughs> New Yorker I'm uh, with a girl on his lap is him. Okay. <laughs> is Mar Got it. Okay. Thank you. And nobody from London society, right? Nobody who would recognize... No. Who would have heard the rumors of my having to leave so suddenly? No, probably not. Okay. Uh, we are going to hold for just a minute because uh, we have to refresh the stream. Oh. Really? What happened? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to be there. Take a look right in that troll's eyes and say, you. You want some of this, do ya? Wow. Oh, wow. And Darth okay. Vader showed Welcome up. back. Wow. Yeah. Um, Dang. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was turn. crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, Aaron Val crashed into the, the, uh, the steamboat and mm -hmm. things got really weird. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, so you, you've done a scan. There's no one really that uh, that you recognize. Uh, you've sort of got a bead on who's probably here at the Maranzato family mm -hmm. and who's not. All right, then is there an empty booth by the Marizano family or Mar the person I recognize to be of the Marizano family? Yeah, there's a there's a there's a few of these folks. Okay. Um, uh, that you can tell are associated. All right. Uh, and a couple of empty booths nearby. All right. I find a booth because I have very good hearing. Okay. Especially at night. Okay. And uh, I take you my take, companion uh, you with You take me. Uh, sweet Peter Thomas with mm -hmm. you. Okay. Uh, Peter, at this point, um, sort of beelines. There's a bar up here as well. It's sort of in the center of the deck. It's a bar in the round. And um, he sort of just takes a shot that was probably meant for someone else. 
as he's going, just takes two, hands you one as you guys are sitting down and quick takes his shot and sort of does one of these moves where he takes a shot and just sort of puts an arm mm -hmm. around you. I leave the shot there for now. Okay. Yeah. And I try to listen to, if I can, whatever conversation is going on around me. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll, please, uh, your listen skill. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. And let's help her see it. This good. is all right. I succeed quite well, actually. Okay. Uh, what'd you uh, What'd you end up rolling? I rolled a twenty-four, and my listen is seventy-five. Okay. So, um, okay, that was a uh, you. You would have succeeded on a, a challenging level of that skill. Um, so let's see here. Uh, you hear a lot at first of uh, just normal, just. Uh, uh, guys saying really lewd and inappropriate things to the girls on their lap and a lot of oh <laughs> you know sort of uh, uh, you know, uh, from the girls <laughs> and um, that's how girls sound in the 20s um, absolutely yeah spot on mm -hmm. uh, but as you're sort of or me nowadays folk, yeah or just Bert uh, <laughs> or just Bert um, so uh, as you sort of focus and uh, listen in a little more uh, you do hear um a guy complaining to someone standing at his table. Uh, and as you sort of start to listen, he's like, I mean, look, I feel starting to feel like I'm getting a little taken advantage of, honestly, of, uh, of my hospitality. Yes, by all means, come drink my booze. Uh, uh, have your way with one of the girls. I don't care. That's what they're all here for. But at some point, you know, business is business and it's, and it's time to get to work. Uh, where are these boys? And he's like, well, uh, I apologize, sir. I, uh, I saw uh, Mr. Bernard, you know, downstairs, and I, you know, I told him to uh, enjoy himself and finish his drink, and that you'd be, uh, uh, you'd be expecting him upstairs shortly. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting them. I'm expecting all of them. Come on, uh, the, the, you know, the night, the night is not forever." So you sort of hear these folks complaining. It's hardly on Byron, is he? All of them, boys. Hmm. Do I recognize the voice? No, it's not someone you've met before. No, you, you don't. It's not someone you've necessarily uh, met before. Got it. But you obviously mm -hmm. know, and plus by this incredibly spot-on accent, that he is definitely from New York. New York. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Obviously. Then yeah, I, we all got it. Yeah. yeah. We got Thank it. You. Then I'm where I need to be, so I'm going to settle in here with... Sweet Dim Peter. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, at I heard this those point, New York um, accents. Uh, uh, at this point, Peter's like, so um, we're on the uh, we're on the top deck, and mm -hmm. um, you know, got got you a booth. We're not necessarily supposed to be up here, but uh, I'm, you know, I'm d I'm dangerous. Uh, not like everybody always says, and so. Um, How familiar are you with this family? These people. Oh, these, I mean, not... Is it your first time up here on the stack? Yeah, yours? Technically, yes. Well, as uh... As far as the atmosphere goes, no. Uh, here's to, um... Uh, and he holds up his empty shot glass. <coughs> I push the mine over to him, because I didn't take a shot. He takes it, because he's now very nervous. He's like, well, here's two of first times. And sort of takes a shot and downs it, mm -hmm. and just sort of, like... Inches in very unsmoothly. Yeah, no, that wasn't smooth at all. No, yeah. But I let him. Okay. It's not my first time in the situation. Okay. Uh, so you're just uh, hanging out at the booth? Or? Mm, I'm just... Okay. I hear the New York accents. Okay. That's where so I'm trying to establish as business. as you're sort of listening, uh, Bernard just sort of moments before you tossed uh, this... You shredded up this book and tossed it on the ground. Hey, hey, come on. Missed it out. That's worked hard on that. I was just trying Am I to a little bit more myself now? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was. I and no I worries, we're here. We all take coin, some stuff. whatever. Some change in my. It's in my pocket. I just put it on the. And table. that's the most he's gonna make okay. off an invention all weekend. Look, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna head upstairs. I got a, a meeting. I you too. Get to, yeah. Yeah, I'll follow you up. So I think I we're headed to the same place. Yep. Yeah, 
Oh, you have a meeting upstairs too? Oh, oh you're kidding me, really? Fuck me. <laughs> I'll be damned. You? Well, are you in this meeting too? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> but uh, I could go upstairs. No, that's not what I. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's <laughs> just all. Come on up, Dave. Come on, come on. Let's all go upstairs. That's at least, yeah, let's all go together. <laughs> Okay. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everybody link arms. So as, <laughs> as you guys are sort of watching, uh, walking up, the stage manager just sort of, sort of glaring at you, and he sort of like grabs your arm for just a second, oh. and it's just like, you make sure you remember you're on the clock. I know. Yeah. And she's taking all the money I got, so don't you worry. And don't. I need to talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> and He's I got important like, things sure to tell you. Right. I show him Real the important of, things to tell you. I wave the skip it as I walk upstairs. <laughs> and he sort of <laughs> Do you have a bag with points you after Where are you pulling yeah. these things? He very back. sort of <laughs> quickly points at like the first like girl in his employee <laughs> that he can find. Right. And it's just like, Rue, what are you doing? And just sort of like. I like grab the skip it and shove it back in his back. Not now. Oh, sorry, sorry. We got to go upstairs. Come on, right, keep right, it in your right, pants. Right. Mr. Inventor. Oh, thank you. Okay, so you guys are all sort of heading upstairs? Yes. Yep. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, so as the group comes up, same description stands. The uh, the big band is upstairs uh, playing some standards. People are dancing. Uh, the music's going. People are having a good time. Hooch is getting passed around. Sure. Um, and uh, there's sort of a bar in the center. Um, well, Hero, you might want to keep your temper to yourself up here. There's a lot of... Uh Bad folks up here, if you know what I mean. I'm aware who is upstairs. Bad folks. I'm instantly starting to... Not the to types you want to be seen with out in public. Oh, I see. Present myself as best I can with what I got. Okay, so you're sort of like trying to clean up yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so, um, JJ and Bernard, uh, you guys will recognize uh, Jimmy Marzano. Uh, as the guy who hired you, you've worked with him before. Hey, Jimmy! He sort of <laughs> Jimmy JJ. Uh, this gentleman with uh, you know very, very carefully uh, manicured hair, who had just been complaining to his assistant, uh, sort of stops what he's doing and looks up. Hey, it's about time. Hey, sorry about that. I didn't know we were on the clock here. Yeah. Always on the clock. Come on, you, you go. You guys enjoying yourselves? You, oh, you, you know the war hero here. Abso yeah, the war hero. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all have a seat. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. What's so what's, uh, what's the deal, Jimmy? I just also sit down with them. And uh, you must be um, uh, Jordy? Gordy. Gordy. Gordy Fitzgerald. That's Act right. Steps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he also answers the milk toast. I do not answer the milk toast. <laughs> Good day. Uh, good, whatever any of that was. Good to have you. Uh, good to have you at the table. And this is this is a Florence. She's my uh, personal assistant for the night. If you know what I mean. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. That's hey, great. You know, I, you know, yourself. I come here to have a good time. Oh, you found yourself a good one, huh? Otherwise, I'd tell her to chase off. Well, good thing I'm a good one then. Good thing. Uh, so, uh, first of all, before we get down to business, you gotta. Uh, this is the real. This is the real stuff. You got to try this. And he literally just pulls out just a mason jar. I got. Clear you know, you don't have to say it twice, Jimmy. I know. <laughs> when you got something to offer, it's always good. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, here I'm, I'm gonna pour you a glass here. Oh, I'm I'll, okay. Uh, Thank you, though. No, no, they. they, they I don't um, think you understand. No, they don't do it. They don't do it with glass. I mean, it's right out of the jar. You got to be authentic. I don't think you understand, Gordy. You're gonna take a drink, all right? Okay, so, I, I mean, this, your eyes immediately start to water. <laughs> it, it, it tastes like you're just drinking, like, pure <laughs> uh, engine cleaner. Uh, it burns, 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 burns down the throat. Got a little bit of the devil in me there, Jimmy. Uh, hey, it's good, right? The uh, mason jar from him, and I also <clears throat> take a sip. Okay, yeah, the same, just... Mm. Yeah, so, you, okay, you take that drink, and you just sort of immediately feel pretty mm. messed up. Uh, it's, it's potent. It's strong. You, sure you don't want some of this? Jimmy, I hope you don't need my I, eyes on this job. Go, uh, I'm gonna Gordy, what was your name? Uh, Gord, Gordy. Gordy Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. Inventor entrepreneur. Take a drink with us, Gordy. That way you're, uh, you're part of the table. You're part of the family. All right. And, uh, are they, is everyone looking at me? Yes, <laughs> yes. Literally oh, everyone shit. is I'm staring at you. 
There you go, Gordy. As, as you take the sip, the sh ship's horn goes off again. It's good. Yeah, it's good as hell, right? Knock you, knock you on your ass, but it's good. Put some hand in your chest, Gordy. Oh, yeah. That was real good. Oh, wow. Which brings us to why we're here. I have a bit of a personnel issue. Personnel, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound like a me job. This sounds like a war hero job. Look, uh, it, Pop sends me down here with one gig. He says, uh, he, he says, look, we want to get in the bootlegging business. See about it. Mighty fine job you're doing. <laughs> well, this, you know, this is the start. Look. So far, so good, right? We buy the boat. The boat moves up and down the river, up uh -huh. to the resort up river. Uh, great vacation spot. That's where most of the booze goes. Rich people buy it. We make a bundle, okay? But we got a supply problem. So we figure, why not? Why compete when we can just go make a deal with the hill folk, these backwater hillbillies, you know? Yeah. Show them the ways of the big city. razzle dazzle them a little bit, okay? Make a deal. Bing, bang, boom. We all make a lot of money. They don't seem to see it that way. You got to watch out for those Rubens, though. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So, look, I send out, you know, a couple of my guys. Uh, I send out, you, you remember Bobby? Uh, uh, Bobby went out with a, with a, with a few folks uh, to, go talk to, these, to, to go talk to these hillbillies. And uh, not a word. Not Nobody, a word, huh? Nobody's goes, come back. This goes missing, huh? The hillbillies insist, they don't, oh, they don't know nothing, nothing about it. They don't, they don't know anything about it. So how I long ago was that? Yes, how long ago was that? Yeah, like Florence says. <laughs> I like a girl that pretends to be interested. <laughs> May try to be interested that's in something else a little more. You know what I'm saying? you, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, uh, it's 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 been three weeks now. I fr I ring Pop and I say, Pop, I think we got a war, and he says, Before we have a war, you need to be sure, and that's why you. All right, I see what you're putting. And down. you and you are going to go out, you're going to see what you can see, you're going to be sure whether they're dead, whether they're in a hole, whether they're just wandering around in the woods, you're going to be sure so that I can be sure, so the Pops can be sure. How many people are we talking here? And what you, what you need the inventor for? I'm just, I'm just curious. I know you respect my services, and I can understand why we're taking the war hero along here. Why are we calling him the, is that your nickname, the inventor? Am I supposed to be scared of that name? I am an entrepreneur. I, 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 I'm very quick on my feet, and I make things on the fly. You're not an entrepreneur. <laughs> Who called them out? What's, uh, what's, the, what's the game here? This show, game. show them the skip rope game. Skip rope game. This guy's two months behind on his rent, and we said uh, we'd be square if he did the job. Oh, I see. So we got a driver. Yeah, pretty much. So you say we're going to be dealing with some country bumpkins, huh? That's right. Now, look. I got a proposition for you. I'm listening. How much is Florence here on your payroll for? Oh, sort of. <laughs> it's strong, right? It is. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Say again. Florence here. How much is she on your payroll? It ain't my job to keep track of that kind of thing. Nine dollars uh, a week. Nine dollars a week. Look, nine she's, making a, week. she's making a she's making a fortune. Why are you asking? I think we could be in use of her services on this job. I agree. I think what? I could be of a lot of services Those on this job. Those country bumpkins. They don't see chassis like that out where they're from. It's true. I'm very persuasive. I'm not persuasive. Now, look, I'm not sending you all on some kind of weird kinky adventure. I'm That's sending not you what to I'm work. asking here. I'm asking when we're dealing with these backwood folk, assets come in handy. Exactly. I, I, I'm an asset. Okay. I'm not as convincing. I mean. On account of the leg and all. Look, I'm not a... Uh, and War Hero here. Let's just say he's not going to be seducing nobody. I'll be convincing them a different Go way. ahead and roll your fast talk. Fast My fast talk. talk. Ooh. That's not a... <laughs> fast talk, my man. It is a skill. What it is about... A skill. You, you built what about persuade? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. You'll take persuade? Yeah, uh, that, is, that is what you do with fast talk, so sure. Persuade? Mm -hmm. Yep. Very different stats on my sheet, though. <laughs> I feel like you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a reroll. I'm going to use that reroll. Is there one? Yes, we have. Uh, that's do great. It, I'm going to use that reroll. We have two more. Thank you, Chad. Oh, yeah. Thank there you very is. much, Chad. That's a, that's a success. A 61 out of 80. 
61 out of 80. Okay. So yeah, pretty pretty solid success. <sighs> Look, you wanna you wanna bring the dame along? Uh, this could be of use. Uh, sure, whatever. She still works for you though. She's on your payroll. Yes. Yeah, so, well, uh, you know, I pay her to dance. And so, then you got uh, somebody on the inside if you need some. Well, I have other skills. You do, honey. Well, like you said, I'm very <laughs> convincing and. And I'm convincing. It's smart. She's convincing. It's the smarts. Look at her. She, yeah, she's convincing. <laughs> 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 she's convincing the other guys. <laughs> sure. Go along. See if I can. All right. So we got to sell for job. And we got a team. We got a driver. It looks like War Hero, you and me here. Yes, sir, if I may. Uh, where if exactly may. are we going? And is there any sort of information on those this Those are good questions. I'd, I'd like to also know the answer to those questions. Yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, uh, what the hell's the name of the, the lake? Or Yeah, the lake. T fucking tell him about the lake. And uh, the, the guy who had sort of uh, talking about the, the railing. Um, <coughs> uh, it's a, just an area outside of, outside of the, a little outside of the city uh, called Fisherville. Aye. Uh, you, uh, the, the, the family we're talking about is uh, the Toon family. The Toon family. Toon? Toon. Uh, T O O N E. They're, um, from what we understand, the uh, the the biggest bootleggers in the state. Um, they live uh, right on the edge of uh, Taylorsville Lake. There, you can't really miss it. And uh, how long you been working with these uh, individuals, this Toon family? Oh, we haven't really been working with them. We've been trying to. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Trying to. <laughs> trying to. So they're aware of the situation, and if they, they were in the position of doing something to you fella here, might not be best for us to associate ourselves with you. That was sort of our, uh, that was sort of our idea as well. All right, we're gonna be flying low on this one. That we're gonna need an alibi and a cover. We got, got a family camping trip? I love camping. I don't think that's gonna be the smartest decision to make. Well, what do you suggest then? Yeah, what you got, War Hero? My suggestion is we don't get caught. You don't get caught snooping around? Yes. Look, these small towns, I don't know if you're aware how they work. I'm coming from Kansas City and all. Everything around there is pumpkin here. They're, they're going to be asking questions. They see us driving into town. The first thing they're going to do is say, who's that? What do they want? We need a good cover. And we're on a camping trip. It's well, just what else an idea. are they going to do out there? Maybe we should ask the entrepreneur. Driver. Yeah. Look. I ain't interested in the details. Sure. Sorry, sir. Just go ahead and get it done. But me. The guy sort of hands him a cigarette. Enjoy the rest of the uh, the cruise. Now, quick question. I hate to ask it, but I got to ask. You got to understand. I got to ask. What are we talking about in terms of uh, payment here? Usual rate. Usual rate. Usual rate. But we're dealing with uh, possible murder here. That's not putting Isn't us into a dangerous situation. The usual rate. Now, the usual rate, you know, we do all sorts of things here and there, but uh, sending me out into the middle of the woods here to talk it to some country bunkin people, look, you know, in the count that somebody the might The woods, murdered, Brooklyn? I'm comfortable in Brooklyn. Yeah, but look, we either send you out to find, find out if somebody died or if somebody's uh, fucking somebody's wife they ain't supposed to, okay? No big difference. Rates are rate. Okay. Rates are rate. Does anyone else need to negotiate? All right. Rates are right. You uh, got it, Jimmy. He sort of stands up, <coughs> just a suit. Enjoy the rest of the cruise. He leaves the jar on the middle of the table. Come on. He sort of walks off. I'm going to walk off. Flag the dude that I was talking to earlier. Okay. As he's sort of following um, Marizano, he sort of notices you and stops. So I just want to make sure I didn't want to waste any more of his time, but. Uh, who should we go to in regards to provisions and supplies? I feel like we didn't, I didn't bring my typical bag with me because I thought we were meeting on the boat and that would be uh, impolite to bring that. Yeah, when we, uh, when we come back to the dock, there will be a car waiting for you all. Excellent. Thank you. Enjoy the cruise. Sure. He uh, sort of follows Marizano away. Uh, and they walk directly past uh, 
Applina, mm -hmm. your uh, booth where presumably Peter Thomas is just uh, working your neck like mm -hmm. <laughs> getting right any, in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like any um, clueless, uh, fresh out of school Episcopalian would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, did I hear any of that conversation? that transpired? Uh, you guys are too, t you got the general idea that um, there was some business going on. You didn't necessarily hear, uh, you know, ins and outs. Mm -hmm. But uh, you did hear, especially when the vo voices kind of got raised and hey, a rate's a rate. You, you sort of heard that conversation. You mm -hmm. heard, you know, little bits of, uh, you know, Brooklyn, the woods, dead guys, adultery, you know, you sort of heard all that when Things got a little louder uh, okay. right before. And the Marizano left. left, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I turned to Peter. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, he's... Right there. Right no, I don't have to move very far. Right in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I turned to Peter, and I say, do you know what? Oh, yeah. What? You got me on this boat. I did say I would give you a present. Yes, you did. I need one more thing. Yes, ma'am. Just find me a room. Any room. Make yourself comfortable. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, like. And uh, I kiss him. Okay. To kind of like stop him from stammering. Okay. Um, I say that wasn't the present. Okay. Um, there's a. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of him at this point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He and he's sort of like there's the um, uh, uh there's something the, private, there's something the, nice. Yeah. There's the uh the. There's a small sit sitting room on the on the on the on the, on the middle deck. It's it's it, it's private. I think it's it's meant for uh, for for the captain and maybe st staff. But uh, no one's ever. I don't think no anyone's one's ever in there. there. Yeah. I'll All right. I'll see you there. Get yourself a brandy. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. Absolutely. Preach, your son. Do <laughs> this. Preach, your son. I let you call me God. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he sort of. <laughs> He just sort of like hurries away. Okay, he's kind of fixing his hair and you know, kind of uh, peacocking a little bit, sort of as he like heads back down the stairs. And as he's heading, walking down the stairs, his his he sort of makes eye contact with you again, and just like <sighs> <laughs> heads on down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, then I pick up what's left of my brandy and I join the group. Okay. Oh yeah. I heard enough keywords to know that there's the business that I'm looking for. Okay. Say, JJ, how long have you been working with the Marizano family for? Long enough. Oh, okay. Long enough to know that we just saved your tush from the full coming abuse that that stage manager is going to throw at you. Thanks. You're safer with us than here. Yeah, I agree. That was real swell of you. So, um, as you guys are talking, uh, uh, this other woman sort of sits down just sort of stands at the table, waits to be invited to sit. What do you do? Uh, I just approach. Okay. I approach. <coughs> Someone familiar with the Marizanos? P I couldn't Betty, help it over here, not. but... Who, uh, who might you be? I have no clue what you're talking about. Apollonia Wayworth. I'm new in town. Wayworth, yeah, you don't uh, seem like you're from around here. Yeah. You don't sound like you're what from around here. What gave it here. away? I heard there's All quite a party downstairs. It was the accent, really. You're smart, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, didn't mean to eavesdrop, but you were being rather loud. Uh, some oh, we were. business with the Marizano family. Eavesdropping on uh, old Jimmy ain't a good thing to be doing around here. It's uh, hard to call it eavesdropping when they're not exactly being sotto voce, are they? Yeah, possibly not, but maybe listening in general isn't a smart idea. You do, clearly Madison. know who you think that was sitting in this booth, and you would clearly know that listening on that conversation isn't in your best interest. Definitely not. But again, I don't know who you were talking about, and there's a lovely party downstairs. Real nice party. No, you're free to leave if you want. But I'm interested in business. Oh, business. Hmm. Maybe you should talk to Jimmy. I would. I'm working my way up. Working your way up. I could definitely introduce you if you'd like. He's always looking for more girls to add to the roster. No, 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 no. Not, um, not that kind of business. Well, what kind of kind business are you in? I'm opening up a place in New York. Oh. Well, I could introduce you to a lot of nice people in New York. Oh, I'm in the right place then. Do you know the Marizanos? Not personally. O only by name. All right. 
What was this job you were talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. What was this job most of you were talking about? You're asking a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Is she a private eye too? I was going to get to that. Oh, I was simply sorry. new in town, and I did say you were being rather loud. Rather Fascinated loud. by good conversation. I just assumed Fascinated. there was nothing to hide. Great. Well, <clears throat> I'll see you all, I guess, when... Yeah, when we see you. Cheers. I'll be prepared. Oh, you're here too. What? Ah! Uh, you've reestablished equi your equilibrium. All right, stand right over there. No, no. Oh, oh right. Oh yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bump no. into you again. That was embarrassing. Quite. Yeah. For you. What sort of business exactly are you trying to start in New York? Forbidden fruit. Oh, I see. Well, listen, I hear that uh, Mr. Martin, who runs the Laureate, that's the group I used to dance with. I hear that he's interested in other such ventures, if you know what I mean. But if you're trying to start a business in New York, then what are you doing out here? Big country. Fascinating people. Yeah, I guess it is. Where are you from? Take a guess. Uh, Georgia? Yes, you are very clever, aren't you? People keep saying that. <laughs> I'm starting to believe it's true. <laughs> Go down that road, love. So a little bit of time sort of starts to pass um, as uh, this group sort of continues to a little bit of back and forth, and you've probably tried to sell them another skip it um, <laughs> at this point. That doesn't seem amusing at all. The, um, it's more exhausting than anything. Some say I'm ahead of my time, okay? People, I, I, I'm just a little advanced. That's all it is. Have fun if you tried it. So uh, you can sort of you can see from your spot on the on the top deck that you're sort of returning to harbor. The sort of fledgling skyline of uh, downtown Louisville is sort of coming into to view. And you've got some time on the boat if you have anything you want to do or see or investigate. I'm gonna Maybe. sit in the corner and I wanna. Uh, I've been trying to work uh, my own flashlight. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, like no, it's not like it's been invented already. But so I was curious. I wanted to make my own. Okay. Um, and I was able to find a couple of batteries, like D batteries at the time, um, <laughs> and just I was tinkering with it, trying to get it to work. Okay. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll your um, where is it? Your electric repair. All right. How many skill points did hey. you put <laughs> in that <laughs> electrical repair? <laughs> Electrical repair. I like how that's the thing. Bottom left. It's going <laughs> to probably be bad. like a five percent. It's a forty-five. Oh, oh, that's oh. Not bad. not bad. I'm gonna re-roll. <laughs> okay. How, how many do you have left? For a flashlight. <laughs> it's gonna be handy. You have one more. One more re-roll. <laughs> no, uh, it's one over. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you have no more re-rolls. You rolled over. a re-roll of forty-six. I'm, I'm gonna push it. Yeah. <laughs> and save that re-roll for someone else. For a flashlight. Yeah, burn his own damn hand off for a flashlight. Okay, so as you're working on the thing, um, sort of that final step that you thought was going to work, like you get a little bit of a a flash of light, for lack of a better word, for a second, <laughs> but then it, it kind of uh, it goes out a little more. Uh, and you get the feeling that if you can just uh, be just right with the amount of pressure that you're trying to get uh, a couple of the... The, a little bit of the wiring to sort of attach with. This could go either way. Uh, this it could make it work, or it could just completely uh, Fry break. In yeah, a, yeah, in a, in a disastrous way. <laughs> cool. It explodes. Nah, damn it. <laughs> okay, so you I are. It was worth a shot. You're sort of pushing at this thing and tinker, and, and uh, you don't really have any of uh, of your your tools on you. Like you usually have like a little like little eyeglass set and you know stuff like that for this kind of wiring. So you're just kind of trying to use your fingers and um, uh, you're on the water. Things are moving a little bit. Things aren't quite steady, and you just uh, there's just a little bit of metal. And uh, as the boat sort of lurches forward, uh, your pointer finger just slides against this uh, jagged piece of metal. Uh, not enough to do any damage or anything like that, obviously. Yeah, but you just, just got like a hell of like, I mean, like the worst possible, just like Ooh. right down. Uh, right ah. down your finger. You know what's attracted the blood? 
<laughs> you octopus <laughs> dolphins. <man. laughs> and you immediately just kind of yelp in pain. Ah! The ones that eat Damn you before it. they drown yes. you. Uh, I pull out uh, my stick it. <laughs> and I just like temper. I don't have bandages, so okay. I just like stick the we the wound. <laughs> okay, so you're uh you're freely <laughs> bleeding like next to on your wound? yeah. <laughs> you're freely bleeding next to Apollonia, <laughs> uh, sort of trying oh. to oh, no. scotch tape uh, your wound, um, <sighs> and uh, we're sort of approaching Harbor. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have anything else? I'm gonna like go to back do? to my like quarters. Okay. Uh, and the I'm broom closet. Yeah, and I'm gonna oh. uh like. I want to make an outfit that's inconspicuous. <laughs> okay. So you are... Um, but as I'm, like, taking off all of my, like, show jewelry and stuff, uh, the only piece of jewelry that I keep is the um, the diamond ring that's on the chain around my neck that I was, like, hiding inside of my, okay. like, dress. Okay. Uh, and I hide that under my... my <laughs> commoner outfit that I'm trying to put together <laughs> to Great. blend in with the country folk. Uh, so as you're doing that, uh, you just hear a voice. Um, the hell is that? It's the, the stage manager. He's sort of standing in the door. You that seem to be all up in my business that all the thing time. Yeah, because it's my job to be in your business. That thing around your neck, what is that? It's a, it's a ring. Who'd you lift it Can from? I didn't lift it from anybody. It's you, uh, you didn't lift it from anybody. That's why you're taking off your, your dress and just putting on. You're, you're trying to run. No. As a matter of fact, if you talk to Mr. Marizano, if I... If I talk to Mr. Marizano, I am Mr. Marizano as far as you're concerned. I am being sent on a very important job off the ship. Very important job, huh? Mm -hmm. Your job is to dance and flirt and do whatever those guys need to do out there well, to buy more drinks. not what Mr. Marizano said. I said you should go talk to him. And I said, as far as you're concerned, and he sort of kicks the door shut behind him, I am Mr. Marizano. Now, take that thing off your neck before you get in some real trouble. I'm doing this for your own good. And he sort of steps in, Great. And grabs your shoulder. Okay, I'm going to reach for like, because uh, there's like a vanity in this room, yeah? Yeah. So I want to reach for like a perfume bottle or something that's on it. Okay. And then I want to like shove it into the side of his ear to like break it on the side of his face. Okay. Uh, whew. Let's roll your uh, fighting brawl cool. with that improvised weapon. Awesome. Uh, what? Do we have any rerolls? We have two rerolls. Oh, yeah, sweet. I will use one then. All right. Oh, Jesus. I am really bad at rolling in this game. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll one more time because... The okay. odds of me succeeding Last are -roll. way better than not. Last re-roll. And we can use some more. Yes. Uh, All right. I did it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. nice. Never rolling that percentile dice again. Let me. Uh, What's your uh, 70. Damn. Yeah. I'm a dancer. I'm in good shape. Okay. So uh, what'd you roll again? Uh, 61. Okay. Um, mm. So you... Uh, he doesn't see it in that moment. He's sort of reaching. He's got his hand around this thing. Mm -hmm. He's sort of shoving you into this wall. Mm -hmm. And just this perfume bottle <laughs> just slams uh, into his head. Um, it doesn't necessarily have the, quite have the desired effect. It just thunks really hard against the side of his head. It doesn't break. It doesn't stab or anything like that. And he just sort of takes a moment. His hands loosen. And he steps back. And he's just holding his head. He's, he's, he's almost shocked. Didn't anybody More ever teach you any, how to talk any, to a lady? The hell are you doing? You were trying to take what is my rightful property. The hell are you doing? I'm only trying to protect that which rightfully belongs to me. Roll your psychology. <laughs> psychology. Oh, good. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Yeah, it's not a. That's listen. I think my psychology is about like a ten, so okay. it's not gonna happen. Let's let's find out. <laughs> I rolled like a 75. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, you haven't really been in... It is, in fact, a 10. <laughs> you haven't really been in a lot of intense situations like this before, necessarily. No. So uh, you haven't learned to read when someone is definitely going to take a swing at you. Mm -hmm. um, which this gentleman is doing. Great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this... Um, uh, the, considering that a lot of us were hanging out, <laughs> is it safe to assume that somebody saw her go into that closet and see him follow? Yeah, if someone... Uh, uh, followed her, you know, downstairs. We're on our way out. Yeah, we had just made port. Yeah, you're sort of preparing to to make port. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, roll your dodge for me. Okay. 
Ooh, that is a success. That is a two. Ooh. My dodge is 60. Ooh, you are amazingly lucky. <laughs> he rolled really, really well, but Ooh. you just really <laughs> critically succeed. Okay, so... Uh, so... What the hell are you doing? And he takes a swing, which you just immediately sort of sidestep, and yes. his fist goes right into the vanity, uh, which is glass breaking all over his fist. There's just blood already just, like, uh, pouring down uh, this guy's fist, and he just starts yelling. Awesome. He's just at the ah! I'm going to take this opportunity to run for it. At the sound okay. of this, <laughs> as she opens the door, I'm going to be standing in the doorway, and I'm just going to kind of have my coat open, revealing my Colt. Okay. Whew. As you uh, sort of run past sort mm -hmm. of adrenaline, right. uh, that initial burst of adrenaline sort of helps keep you sort of like, huh, and sort of in mm -hmm. the moment starts to wear off, and all of a sudden the realization of what just yeah. sort of happened, and I need you to roll against your sanity. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a seven. That is out of 70. So that's another critical success. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you'll just lose one. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to stand in the doorway. I'm going to be revealing under my coat. I got a Colt with me at all times. Okay. I'm going to uh, like hide behind his open coat. Cool. Uh, go and roll your Intimidate and roll with a bonus dice and take the better of the two rolls. That's good. Because uh, <clears throat> should have had me do it. I know. That's, uh, oh. I'm gonna bet the better of two rolls. You yeah, see? yeah. Oh, oh no, that's, uh, that's gonna be a no. But I am gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> listen here, Mister. We also well, we have some re rolls. And I don't think it's you can also push this. I don't. Mm, I don't think uh, intimidate's not my specialty here. Okay. What did you roll? What was the better roll? Twenty-two. Twenty-two out of fifteen. Fifteen mm. is my intimidate. Fifteen. Ooh, wow. Okay. I'm not an intimidate in person. I yeah. walk with a cane. Yes, that's okay. true. Yeah. That's, yeah. Fair. Guy. that's fair. Yeah. Not very intimidating, but. You see here, fella, Jimmy upstairs, and you know I work with Jimmy, you know that well, has personally asked the floor to accompany us on this trip. I told you Mr. Marizano gave me an important job. She's working with us, and if you got a problem with that, you can take it up with Jimmy upstairs, or I can take it upstairs for you. There's no problem. Did you do that to his hand? Well, not exactly intentionally, but, uh, I yeah. I think we made the right choice bringing you along. Let's go. Let's there's get out of here. There's no problem. There's no problem at all. Fuck you. Get back to work. And be nicer to the other girls. And be nicer to the other girls. So as you guys sort of away. I don't know if we're in away, a position to be making demands. <laughs> uh, another girl who he had yelled at earlier, uh, Rue, is just sort of uh, at the bar. Uh, with some gentlemen and sort of out of the corner of her eyes been sort of watching what's happening at the mention of it. Be nice to the other girls. She kind of <laughs> takes a drink. Okay, Bernard. The <laughs> only Bernard. thing that I wanted to do uh, was after the strange conversation with this uh, uh, person that's clearly not from around here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go up to that same individual. I don't know if I got his name yet. And I don't need names because oh, okay. that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but I need I need to find him. Okay. Uh, so you're sort of walking around on the boat. Um, Looking for this assistant, I guess, or okay. his lieutenant. Yeah. Uh, you sort of walk down to the middle deck. It's an area you really haven't been yet, but you, you glance sort of downstairs. You didn't see him. Obviously, he's not upstairs. Uh, so you sort of glanced. Uh, you're sort of down on the middle deck looking around. Um when uh, you hear uh, a commotion. Uh, Is it said commotion? You just hear, um, no, you hear uh, you hear a guy saying, hey, come on now, get, get, get your hands off me, man, what the hell? And then you hear a more familiar voice, uh, the voice of the gentleman that you've been talking to, um, uh, sort of snapping, uh, snapping back and just being, you know, being like, Where's your Where's your goddamn ticket, boy? Where's your ticket? Uh -oh. And uh, you hear uh, you hear something crash. As the it's definitely the sound of a heading over in that some, direction. Some kind of fight going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is he swinging on him? Do, do I, I see Do I see the person I'm looking for being attacked by this individual? You see the person that you are looking for just wailing haymakers on uh, on this young man. 
who is sort of, you know, keeping his hands up to sort of defend himself. He's up against uh, the railing of, uh, of the second deck, so they're not inside. Uh, they're sort of outside against the railing of the second deck, and he's just sort of trying to protect his head while this guy's just uh, just cranking on him. I'm going to run up okay, and just, like, cold clock the dude that has his hands up. Okay. Uh, like, almost in the, the version, like, if there's enough time to look at this lieutenant guy to be like, should I push this guy over the boat? I will. But he's, like, kind of mailing him. So I'm just kind of going up to just okay, go slug ahead and, this dude in the face. Yeah, go ahead and roll your fighting brawl. Uh, mm. Roll a bonus dice since he's already <laughs> getting the shit beat out of him. And you, you? Uh, take the better of two rolls. Dope. <laughs> okay, uh, I got a fifty out of seventy. Oh, oh nice. Okay. okay, so you uh, you kind of come in and just clock this dude in the side of the head, and he s- just falls to his side and starts kind of crawling forward really rapidly, and you know stands up. His face is already you know bleeding. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean he just goes down, <laughs> picking him up, and looking at him as if do you. <coughs> Do you want this off your boat? He kind of gives him a look. Yeah. Just toss him over. Okay. <laughs> well, Go ahead and roll. <laughs> well, should I roll for this? Your throw. Maybe War Hero wasn't the best definition of this guy. <laughs> well, <like> vigilante. <laughs> vigilante <laughs> justice. So not know how to throw things, He's I guess. Huh? <laughs> we got that detective bat on us. Oh! Yeah. It's not enough. It's oh, not enough. No! You have twenty. Th- you you oh. have three rerolls. I'm gonna use a reroll on this. I really want to t- chuck this guy over here. <laughs> okay. I really want you to do it too. <laughs> that's that's. Uh, gonna I'm gonna use one more, and then that's oh it. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> Please. <sighs> no. Say so we had one more. We do. What'd you What'd you end up rolling? I'm, my lowest so far is twenty two. Been a twenty two. Let's take it. Okay. So <laughs> you're aiming. Damn. That's what that feels like. <laughs> Maybe They're I really don't. don't you're aiming to get yeah. to get this guy in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Eh, well. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, no. problem is, you know, obviously, the bottom deck of the boat is wider sure. than this this upper deck. Sure. So you sort of try to hoof him over so you can clear it and toss him, you know, into the water. Yeah. Uh, but his feet connect, uh, sort of hook into the railing. And as you throw this guy, he just immediately just goes oh, no. against the side of the boat and just drops straight oh, to no. uh, the first deck. And people just start freaking out. A bunch of girls start screaming. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of women start start to yell. And a couple of guys, oh, wh- what the hell? And they're, they're all sort of like looking up. And they just see you yeah. and this other guy having dropped this poor mess of, of a Step man. Step back. Huh. I thought that wasn't as far. <laughs> Serves him right. He was sitting in Jimmy's room. <laughs> Sir, uh, about that, I uh, I needed to find you. Uh, after you had left, uh, we were approached by somebody who was asking about Jimmy and uh, stuff I was above. I didn't understand it, but she definitely wasn't from around here. Um, real, real mysterious looking. I just wanted to let you know that uh, I don't know what's That's about Jimmy. Is. Yes, yes, sir. Show me. Sure. Uh, yes. Yes. Of course. Now I'm trying to find. Okay. Apollonia, where are you? Uh, I've. I guess everybody's all. We've all scattered. It's mm-hmm. Diaspora. We're just yeah. I'm just making my way down. Okay. You're yeah. uh, you're heading down the steps. Sure. Okay. As you are, um, you're on the top deck. As you are heading down uh, the stairs, you're walking. So the, the stairs sort of go down and hit the landing for the second deck and then continue down. Okay. Um, I know this boat really well because we had our prom on it. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, now I get this character. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and as you're sort of... You just threw Joe on the boat. Sorry, Joe. Did this happen to you? Hopefully this didn't happen to you. Poor That's Peter Thomas. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, mm. So sort of as you sort of see the landing, <laughs> you do out of the corner of your eye just see a guy just fall. Okay. Uh, and then a moment later, you uh, you hear screams. Okay. But he's he didn't fall on the deck that I'm. Have I passed? No, he okay. went right past the second deck, Got and it. you hear a thud below. Got it. All right. Um, 
But uh, so yeah, so she's heading. Uh, I see her down the stairs. You guys are also sort of on the second deck. You're sort of coming into the room on the stairs, and you sort of see her as she's walking down. I make no mind of them, and I just continue on. Okay. Walking past, I kind of give him a look if that's the person. She kept at, and then <clears throat> she kept asking about the job they were doing. All right. Just want to make sure. Is this? Uh, is there going to be heat on this? I don't recognize her. Thanks for looking out, though. We'll keep an eye on her. So this is still a go. Oh yeah, we're still a go. At this point, the boat is pulling in to the port. Um, uh, Apollonia, uh, where are you heading at this point? You're just sort of walking down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trying to find, because as far as I'm concerned, you've like just pieced in yeah. the group, so I'm not paying attention to him, but I'm trying to find one of these three. Okay. So as you are walking down, uh, you sort of hear uh, the voices of people on the outside of the, the bottom deck just being like, move along, nothing to see here. Just an accident, somebody fell, no big deal. No big deal. Enjoy your drinks, finish your drinks, hope you enjoyed the night. Uh, and you sort of see uh, these two, uh, Florence and JJ, um, uh, together. All right. JJ seems to sort of be guiding Florence away from a, from a broom closet. Yep, we're making our way off the ship. Oh, you too. All right. What just happened here? Lots of noise. Well... It's the sound of us leaving. Yeah. All right. Look, I don't know who you are, but I really don't appreciate that you continue to ask questions. Questions that could put me at risk, we'll say. Listen, if you're on that top deck... Top deck. Here we go again. If you're on the top deck, then you know the risks. We all do. Yeah, I know the risk of being seen with someone like you. So we're leaving. Elaborate. Someone like me. Someone that's asking questions. Questions they shouldn't be asking. So as you guys are having this conversation, people are starting to now uh, deboard. The gate's been open. Uh, the guy you glamoured at the very beginning has been standing there the entire time. <laughs> <and> is now <laughs> shivering. And uh, he's letting uh, people off the boat. Cool. Come on, Florence. I just follow him. Okay. We got to find a driver. Well, I thought we had one. Exactly. Well, where'd he go? I didn't even noticed that the <laughs> ship arrived. I'm still He's still up top. <laughs> You're still up, up top trying to work on yeah. your uh, your poor finger? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just upstairs. Uh, you're just like upstairs oh, by yourself. Oh, oh here. Oh, <laughs> whatever will go. Ah, I just pack up my stuff. Okay. I As you it. are uh, packing up, the uh, the ship sort of starts to, you know, uh, it, it, it's docked now, but now it's sort of starting to just move a little bit back and forth as the, the wake is coming in. And um, that feeling sort of washes over you <laughs> again, ah. and I just need you to... Um, uh, roll against as you're sort of wrapping this tape around your finger it's almost like uh, uh, tentacles reaching up to sort of oh. pass the blood on your finger and I just need you to uh, ah. check your sanity ah oh, shit what is my I lost sanity so I barely missed it <laughs> because I lost sanity I, I missed I failed no. okay uh, no. wait there's re-rolls right there's one left <laughs> Not <Yes>. for you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, you can do you. it. Yeah, you can do it. On I'm the gonna take yeah. that reroll. Okay. When the odds are there against you, no more rerolls. <laughs> you roll again. Well, he rolled. That's worse. That's <laughs> <a good one>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Roll one d six. Oh man. Oh no. Oh, Many man. times for. Uh, that's four plus one. Um. No, 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 no. Uh, it's just, it's just the four. Damn it. Already. Um, so you can also give re <laughs> sanity back. So suddenly, <laughs> yes, yes, you can. That's true. Um, <laughs> That's fun. Only one. <laughs> only one. Uh, actually, will you make a note that uh, uh, when it comes in handy, uh, mm -hmm. you do have uh, sanity coming back to you. Oh, great! Uh, awesome. When you eventually lose awesome. stuff, will you please oh. make a note? Great. Um, thank you, chat, for uh, yeah for banking her some sanity. <laughs> thank you. Um, so. Uh, 
in this moment, you, you sort of start to feel this panic come over you. <laughs> Again, you're in the water. That's not really a thing you like to do is, is being over a body of water and you just start to really dwell on whatever it is that's been following the ship down the Ohio River that's just sort of waiting to pull the boat down or even just come straight for you. These things that you've been thinking about even since the, your scouting days. Um, you start to just panic and all you want to do right now is get off this boat. I gotta go. I gotta go right now. I can't. Okay. It's here. It's here. I'm telling you. I run off. I, just, I like run downstairs. Okay. So uh, as you guys are leaving, there's sort of a commotion, another commotion beyond the commotion that, that happened after the, the, the gentleman fell. Uh, you guys see Gordy <laughs> just pushing past hey, sorry, people hey. and just generally making a just a big nuisance. I have to himself. throw up! I have to poop! Well, there's our driver. I have to poop! Move! Move! I gotta poop! Move! What? Oh. Fuck. I gotta get off this boat and I gotta poop! <laughs> all right, that's our uh, that's all right. <laughs> so oh, as you guys, <laughs> Jeez, jeepers, people, guess, can't you hear me? I gotta poop! As you guys are exiting the the boat, Bernard, you're sort point. of you're that's sort of standing with Kingsbury, yeah. who's sort of standing at the Kingsbury? exit. Is that his name? Kingsbury. And um, I like it. And oh. uh, he says um. There's a car waiting for everyone uh, <laughs> just on the other side of the street. I'll be with you in uh, just a moment after we finish some business. Understood. I'll collect my things and I'll meet you there. Okay. So um, you have completely <laughs> torn past everyone yelling that you have to It shit. was just a fart. <laughs> I'm good. It's just a fart. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, so as people, Apollonia, <laughs> yeah. people are now exiting the boat, and you uh, have started to realize that it is on the um, the interior of the bottom deck where the bar is. It's now just you, a bartender that's cleaning up, uh, mm -hmm. Kingsbury, and um, three other gentlemen in suits. Oh. All right. <coughs> Kingsbury uh, sort of walks up and uh, is just like, I'm sorry, ma'am, do you have a ticket? I do. May I see? Pull out the ticket stub that I have. Sort of takes it and glances at it. Mm -hmm. um, what um, what brings you on the ship tonight, ma'am? If I might ask. New in town. Okay. We don't have anything remotely like this back at home, so. Uh, sure, I bet not. But um. Big world. It absolutely is. Full of curiosities. Absolutely. What exactly are you curious about on the boat tonight, ma'am? Everything. You're going to have to get a little more specific than mm. that. Oh. oh, the drinks, the people, the accents, the culture. Oh. So as you're sort of talking, these three gentlemen with him sort of start to kind of close in a little bit. Um, you know, no one's like got their fists up or weapons out or anything like that yet. But uh, obviously, you know, sort of trying to uh, intimidate you. Mm-hmm. You're trying to entertain a lady. Yeah, I'm trying to entertain a lady. This is how you do it here. He sort of uh, gestures to the uh, the other side of the deck, uh, where through the window you see um, uh, the <laughs> bloody mess of <laughs> Peter Thomas still sort of lying on the ground <laughs> as a guy just sort of like almost push brooms him. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is he straight up like over the, the rail? Uh, and you just sort of—I don't know—you just sort of hear a, <laughs> they don't a splash. He's like, "That's one way we entertain, ma'am." So oh, I'm going to ask dang. you again: What's your business on Mr. Marizano's ship tonight? Mr. Marizano. Mr. Marizano is your business. I'm sorry to do this to such a pretty face, but uh. <laughs> I'm afraid I've heard enough, ma'am. And oh, what does he do? And uh, with that, uh, this guy Kingsbury sort of just oh, reaches up and takes a hold of your arms <gasps> and just starts to push you back mm -hmm. uh, towards, uh, actually towards the uh, broom closet where you've been oh. spending some time this evening. He sort of just starts to shove you backwards. Okay. Into the broom closet? Just me and him? It's uh, you, him, and these three other guys that are sort of okay. around you. He's sort of shoving you backwards. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, I let him. Okay. I'm a gentleman. I'm not going to do this, uh, you know, in front of an audience. So, um, if you'll allow me to be gentlemanly, just a little bit more, any sort of gestures. Well, at least we have some privacy. At least. And uh, as he gestures, uh, the stage manager actually, like, sort of hurries out. He's still, like, wrapping his hand, and there's a moment where Kingsbury's right. kind of like... <laughs> After you. I enter. Okay. He sort of gives uh, the other three guys a look. Uh, they sort of position themselves out and stand guard, and uh, this gentleman, Kingsbury, steps in, closes the door behind him, unbuttons his coat jacket, and um, draws a pistol. Oh! He draws a pistol? Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I bite him. Yeah, well, I just got her. Oh, okay. Um, go ahead and roll for me your fighting brawl. Where is that? Where is that? Now you have thirty. Oh man. So okay. you well you have uh, you have your nighttime. So you can actually roll a bonus dice. Okay. Uh, you Which can also use uh, <laughs> a feat of speed or strength mm-hmm. to do a, s- a second bonus dice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. So basically, roll three times, take the best roll. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, that's bad. Okay. That's ninety-one. I'm, I'm not using that. That's a thirty-eight, 38. but not quite there, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's a All right. Twenty-three. That succeeds. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it Noice. does. Damn. Yes, it does. Yes, uh, so this guy Kingsbury sort of draws his pistol and sort of as you see him making the move and sort of as the arm goes out, you jolt forward mm-hmm. really quickly on the inside of his arm and just get in. Uh, you shove him against the closed door mm-hmm. and just sink your teeth mm-hmm. in. Yep. On the outside of the closed door, they hear the thump and they're kind of like, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, so you dig your teeth into this guy. That I do. Okay. Uh, will you roll for me um, 1d6? Okay. Or actually, I can roll that. Sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter who rolls it, really. Okay. So uh, you've taken four points of damage out of this guy. Okay. Because you are just... Full on having a drink at this mm-hmm. point. Um, he's trying to to gasp and scream, so he's making. He's starting to make noise. He's sort of flailing uh, his arms, and he does his best to get his hands on your head to sort of pull you off of him. Oh. Um, will you roll your strength? Please. Drink you Here? ripped out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is. Oh, it's a super success. All right, that is a 16 or is that yeah. 19? 16. 16. Oh, shit, okay. Let me roll his to 16 compare. Out of 55. Well, the GM says, oh, oh shit. Wow. Yeah, he, he sure failed. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, boy. So, um. Ah. Uh, yeah, so he's he's trying to, to pull you off. How would you like to, uh, to respond to that effort? He's trying to pull me off? Mm hmm. I let him, and I rip out his throat in the meat. Okay, know, the so process. you just sort of bite down as, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. so you pull it. There's just a spray oh. mm-hmm. of blood that just, like, coats your face. Mm-hmm. Um, he just sort of l- stares at you in just this disbelief as this last sort of gurgle oh. comes out of his mouth, and just a little bit more blood just Can sort of pulls I? out. You know better than to treat a lady like that. <laughs> oh. And he just sort of slides. Oh down the floor. I take uh, his gun. Struggling to breathe. You take his gun. Mm-hmm. And I pocket it in a garter somewhere. I hide it. Okay. Yeah. Um, are the thugs still outside? Yeah. Uh, you take a moment to just sort of listen. You, you hear these guys sort of out there. They're still talking. Okay. Shit. <laughs> um, there's three of them. I take a moment. Okay. I'm going to be smart about this. I'm just going to take a moment. Clean myself off. Okay. You sort of do your 
best. You are, uh, as luck would have it, in a makeshift mm -hmm. dressing room. Yep, sure. that's yeah. exactly. Uh, so you yeah. sort of. So I take advantage of the mirrors. I take advantage of the. Yeah. You don't have cast a reflection. You do your best. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Never mind. Never mind. I that don't take true. advantage of the mirrors. I know better than to do that. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but you you do your best to sort of. I mean, look, you just got sprayed point blank mm -hmm. rage from a guy's. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I mean, you don't look like you just left your house to party or mm -hmm. anything like that. But like, you also don't look like you just murdered a man with your mm -hmm. mouth. Yep. Um, that's. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do vampires' clothes disappear in the mirror too, or is it? <laughs> <laughs> just a just Matt, a I'm going to say this: disembodied dress in the mirror. <laughs> right. That is not an aspect of mythology that we'll be able to answer on. Oh. He left it dead. <laughs> oh, oh, dang it! Oh, <laughs> I thought you had all the answers, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh shit! You're a vampire. <laughs> I'm sure that surprised some. There's somebody who was watching this who hadn't watched Volume One. Was like, I'll give this a shot. And was just like, what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? Okay. So I use the resources that are at my disposal. Various, you know, handkerchiefs, makeup, whatever. Okay. And I make myself look as presentable as I can. Okay. You and do have, uh, and I'll, I'll mm -hmm. remind you, you've used, you have like one vampiric feet left. Okay. All right. Well, actually, she drank you know what? Blood, you though. did just feed, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, that you technically, got you've got three. That oh. we wiped that slate clean. You replenished. Right. So right. whether you're gonna glamour someone uh -huh. or can I glamour? Oh, can I glamour you you. three people at the start? No. Um, not at the same time. Not at the same time. And they're still out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. At this point, you hear a knock on the door. Uh, mm -hmm. boss. Everything good in there, man? I open the door. Okay. As you open the door... Just slightly, it's a crack. Okay, just a crack? Yeah. I did say we wanted some privacy. What the hell? And you I grab him. You just sort of see this guy sort of oh. starts to try to pull mm -hmm. in, and you grab him? Mm -hmm. Okay. Grab him, I throw him to the ground, and I shoot him. <laughs> Holy shit. Dang! Okay, so let's <laughs> first <laughs> roll this... Yeah, dude. Roll your, what um... What the hell? Privacy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, oh, I'm being shot. <laughs> Privacy, oh, what's hello. that? Oh. <laughs> hey, dog. Uh, I know, it's escalating very quickly. I know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Damn. Ninja. Okay, go ahead and roll your... Yeah, uh, all right. Fighting brawl for me. Well, we're going to see about this... Uh, shit, okay. We're going to see about this grab. Yep. This might not go well. You got this. Uh, this might not go well. Believe low. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, I succeed. Oh, you did. Yeah, Holy twenty-five. Crap. Yep, I succeed. Oh shit. Wow. Okay. Dang. Okay, so you do. So you were grabbing him and throwing him down, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so you, you, uh, sort of grab this guy. Actually, I don't shoot him, but I do put the pistol up to the bottom. Okay, of his so you grab this guy chin. and you sort of slam him in, and his head sort of hits mm -hmm. the outside of the door frame, and he sort of finds himself with the pistol mm -hmm. uh, under his chin. And then I indicate to what used to be the body of, what's his name? The uh, guy that Kingsbury. I just, Kingsbury. He was Poor my Kingsbury. only friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Kingsbury. If you want to avoid the same fate, you will forget everything you saw here. Are you intimidating or are you glamoring? I am. One second. Oh. One second. A racing. I am intimidating. Okay. Go ahead and roll your intimidation. Yep, I got a. What is that? A sixty. Oh wow! You're Which is I succeed. High. Okay, so this guy sort of glances down and he sees the blood starting to pool across the floor, and he stares back at you and he kind of gulps and gives you just the slightest of nods. Steps back, and you hear him say, "Hey, he um, y'all, he asked for some privacy. Let's uh, let's let's give it to them." Let's let's let him do what he does. And do I hear them leave? Sort of hear some uh, after a moment. Yeah, you sort of hear these guys mm -hmm. walking away. All right, then I pocket the gun again. Okay. And I leave. Okay. Assuming uh, the coast is clear, yes. Yeah, you okay. step out. Uh, there's just um, the bartender. Even is is not there at that point. It's literally an empty. Um, an empty deck, and as you're walking, you see um, uh, 
Jeremy, the guy from the uh, that you glamoured mm -hmm. earlier in the night, mm -hmm. still what? at his post, still and he sort cold. of locks eyes with you, and he's kind of shivering. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Ma'am, I made sure no, no, uh, no ruffians on board." I just put a hand on his. I'm not trying to glamour him, but I sure. just put a hand on his face. Good man. Good man. And he then sort I keep of on walking. Wa watches you leave. Okay, so. Um, as you guys have left the boat, uh, as Kingsbury said to you, there's a there's a car waiting for you guys. A nice there's a Model T uh, sort of waiting. There's a couple of dudes in suits standing around, sort of looking out and standing guard, and also just waiting for you to get there. Okay. Like two guys. Great. Uh, we're here to take this vehicle and be going on our mission. Seems to be a little redundant, right? I thought you were going to be a driver. I I believe I'm going to be driving. You got other this. services outside of just uh, sitting in the back of this Model T with us? You can use me. I am very yeah. quick when it comes to tinkering with things. We can use them. You hear that, Florence? I've always got this flashlight working. Yeah, we can use it in the dark. Did you, did you just volunteer to be the fall guy? I think he did. The what? Hmm? No, great. We'll use you. Perfect. Excellent. I have my duffel bag of the things. fall guy, but it's the middle of the spring. Yeah, no, that's exactly what we uh, were saying. Spring forward, fall yeah. back, backwards. Oh, I see. Exactly. So I assume that you all is uh, waiting for us. Yeah, that's the that's the, your uh, your chariot awaits. <laughs> and he all sort right. of looks at his friends like <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> So will you be uh, driving, or are we going well, to hand driving. the wheel over to our uh, friend here? Oh, I ain't got nothing to do with what y'all are doing next. She's I'm just holding the car, huh? Just holding the car. All right. You know how to drive a car? Very well, miss. I sure do. Fisherville it is. Onwards, then. Okay. Get pile in. Entrepreneur. So, Apollonia, you will <laughs> see the them car. sort of <laughs> gathering to, to right. get into this car. I'll hold the door open. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, I go straight for Florence. I might throw people off the balconies. Oh. But, but you know, okay. at least you're polite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, Apollonia, as you're sort of like... Um, oh, as he opens the door for Yeah, me you're sort of taken oh. aback for a moment. What a moment of... Uh, yeah. But in that moment, uh, uh, as you pause, uh, Apollonia sort of beelines in. Florence, is it? Uh, y yes. Lovely name, beautiful city. This one again. And I pull her aside. What is it that I can do for you, ma'am? You said you had connections in New Who's York. Sure. I don't know. I thought I, I, got to, I took care of that already. grew up just outside of there. I've been dancing there n nearly ten years. I'm in need of connections. Well, what sort of connections? The ones who are into forbidden fruit. High connections. Well, I told you, I, I definitely know people like that, but they're all back in New York, ma'am. I still don't quite understand what it is you're doing out here. I'm looking to make connections. Let me in on this job. Oh, well, it's not really my place to do so. So you guys have probably heard this conversation going on. Um, yeah, I'm a little confused as to why... Uh, you're bothering us again, miss. We got a job to do. Ladies talk. Listen, she's just trying to make friends. She doesn't know anybody. Friends. Ladies talk. Well, and pardon my rudeness. Please can finish your ladies talk. And when you're done, we have a place to go. Is everything all right? I, I don't fine. know. Is everything all right? I don't, I don't know who all's supposed to get in this car. Do you all need me to get Kingsbury? Oh, that shan't be necessary. And then I turn back to you, Florence. <laughs> what do you? I have a history what do you mean? of running businesses. Let me in on this job. What does she mean? And I'll let you in on a cut. Well, that that'd be awful nice. Uh, hey, I, I, I. This is kind of weirding me out. Look, she's with us. <laughs> the. F <laughs> we have. She's us. with you. She's with us. Gordy, why didn't you say something? I, I, I was distracted. This is a beautiful vehicle. <laughs> you know this woman? <laughs> we became yes. friends on the boat. We did. Sure, sure he knows her. You know this woman. I do. Why didn't you say anything when we were in the booth earlier? I didn't want to. Gordy. You know her? Yeah. You vouch for this woman, Gordy? You v yeah, what he said. You vouch? I, yeah, I vouch for this woman. Roll your persuade. <laughs> 
Is there like a counter? <laughs> or is it, can I roll? Like oh, they, they, uh, this is on the guy. This isn't. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to. I, I gave you free yeah. will. Oh, whether perfect. Whether you believe him or not. Uh, I'll roll for it. Uh, okay, persuade, right? Yes. What do you normally do that like, skill against? Can I push? Yours would be probably yeah. With this guy. Yeah, you can. Psychology, uh, you can push this. or maybe okay, just against push. your intelligence. You know, there's a you know there's always a chance well, that uh, this could escalate a little bit. He does have his friends with him. Um, you know, there's always that chance that this could go bad. Twenty-seven. Boom. <laughs> yeah, she's wave? cool. She's she's with <laughs> me. <laughs> All Seriously. Right. We, we we play a thing. What she looks for people who might might want to buy something and. She lets me know, and I approach them. Oh, so she's oh. like, oh, the negotiator. Yes, she's a very good negotiator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. So you roll, you succeeded on like a. I'm gonna pull milk so toast up real like close to me. I'm gonna grab you by the collar, milk toast, from the <laughs> driver's seat. The other guy seems satisfied, so he's he's sort of going off on his own. I don't know what you're doing here, buddy, but I ain't no pushover. Please. And I know you don't know squat, and your salesmanship is quite honestly shit. So whatever game you're playing, I'm not playing no games. Which is I know you don't know this woman, Gordy. I do. So whatever game you're playing, it better be worth it. You cause any problems for me or the war hero here, you ain't gonna see the light of day. Do you understand me, driver? Yeah, yeah, I understand. We're, we're square. Laid on rent, right? I yes. Would you like to make another rent payment? Yes. Then be smart, Gordy. I'm being... I'm Yes. Now get get in the car. We're good. We're good. Okay. So at this point, like you persuaded the hell out of the guy who was just standing by the car looking out for it. So he's not even paying attention at this point anymore. Well, gee, if she's your friend, Mr. Fitzgerald, maybe she wants to sit up front with you. Yeah, maybe she does. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Apollonia. What's oh? <laughs> well, he does remember. What was her last name again? Did I hear? It? Did you say? Did I hear you. Mm, no, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> no, you uh, didn't. Uh, 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 her last name? <laughs> yeah. Eliz uh, Elizabeth. Apollonia Elizabeth. Oh, that's two first names. It's a British thing. You don't understand. Oh, that's where she's Apollonia from. Apollonia Elizabeth, huh? Yes. And you wonder why this man ain't selling nothing. I get in the back. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm writing it down, and that's gonna. Everyone's getting in the car. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So you're starting the car. So like in the back. I'm in the back. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah, you guys are pretty crazy. Is this, loud, crazy is this in the a breezy? Back. Is this one of those that's separated? Like you got this. You got the front area and the back area here. So it's like a cabbie, or is this more like a full-on just a. We got just a hatchback here. <laughs> cab situation, uh, the front and the back are There's all There's like a little room. Everything's sort of in the one, like, right, sort of like a one. little sedan right. kind of thing. Um, okay. Car pulls away. Um, it's really bumpy. So, uh, Elizabeth. Yes. Miss Elizabeth. You can Elizabeth. call me. I'm, I'm sorry. Lydia. Elizabeth. Since that's what we're calling you now. What I do you say brought you to the boat again? Curiosity. Curiosity it is. The curiosity's my business. Oh, I didn't realize that you had the monopoly on it. Bernard, JJ, both of you roll a spot hidden. Oh, this is my best thing. Oh, spot hidden, that's right. He's good at it. Yeah, I succeeded this by a lot. What'd you roll? A 40 out of 80. Is there any re-rolls? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> You're still man. driving. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that by two. Okay, so you rolled a 40? Yeah, at 80. Okay, so as this, you're sort of focusing in on uh, Elizabeth <laughs> um, in this conversation, mm -hmm. you do notice, um, is her hair up? Is it down? Is it, um, it is up. Okay. I'm trying to look presentable. Sure, is sure, sure. a little sure. blood on her, maybe? Yeah, so you do notice sort of just right, you know, sort of at the base of the neck here yeah. uh, where she might have missed it. Because um, she can't see her own reflection. Um, <laughs> is, uh, just like a little bit of blood. So you do notice it as you guys are talking. So it seems like that horn is. Sure. Where'd you say? Uh, where'd you say you came from before you got to the ship? From out of town, right? New York. Yes. Well, before that. Take a guess. 
I don't it know. It is rather obvious. Obvious? Nah, see, I ain't get around too much. Oh. Between the mid-states, that is. Kensington. Where's that? London. London. Oh, really? Lighty. Interesting. Across the ocean. How long you been uh, over here in the States? Like I said, I'm new in town. I didn't ask that. <laughs> Do the math. Love. New? All right. So we'll say you just got here today. Why not? Is that but the from story New York. You to go with? Well, you got here, here from London in just one day? I know it's crazy, right? Almost, I'd say, unbelievable. A little bit, huh, Florence? Yeah. Sure doesn't seem possible. And now she's in this car with us after asking for information on Jimmy. Quite convenient. So as this conversation sort of continues, um, city starts to give way to, uh, to farm, farmland. You drive by uh, a horse ranch. There's. I like to play a game whenever you. I drive by horses and go, "Hey, horse, do something." Does it work? No, they, they, when they can't hear me, but it's fun to imagine they can hear me. Well, I don't really understand the point of the game, then. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Can't wait no to one else does this. Can't wait to break you. Um, <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> farmland sort of <laughs> Dude, We might get way. to it before you get to it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about never, to break it myself. <laughs> I ain't never seen this much space between things before. Yeah, that's amazing. So at amazing. this point, yeah, it's just tree-lined on either side. You're on, um, it's not really a highway. It's, a, it's sort of a, a one-and-a-half-lane road, we'll call. If anyone else is sort of coming along, you're going to sort of have to get out of the way. So you guys, as you guys continue to drive, you, you've now sort of left the city, and uh, these conversations can continue. Well, we're doing this thing, huh? Shut up, driver. Hey, I got a lot to offer you guys. If you want to get serious, I got some good stuff. How, you two months behind on that rent? Two, two months behind, but I'm not. Two months behind. I just on gotta that work rent. on my pitch, is all. You see, once once people get word gets out, my inventions, people are gonna be talking about them all over the place. You're behind on your rent, and the mob's coming after you. I, I borrowed some money. I, I I had to do what I had to do to survive. Okay. What's she got on you? Huh? What's Elizabeth got on you? Oh, Elizabeth's cool. <laughs> <laughs> As a jet. <laughs> Elizabeth, so, you see, you know. How'd you meet she, again? I, we met in the city. We met in New York. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, she helped me out. She was she was a good salesperson. I gave her. I a thought she just the, got here yeah, for the one day she's been here. All right, look, I, I don't know her. <laughs> Stop the car. Stop the Even fucking I car, that. Gordy. I don't know her. Stop the fucking <laughs> car, Gordy. We are, they were very I put a gun to the back of his neck. Stop oh, the Jesus. fucking car, Gordy. All right. Okay. Uh, the car stops, pulls over. Or actually, no. Well, you tell me. What, what did you do? <laughs> I pulled the car over. I'm like, beat everyone. It's, it's brave. Elizabeth. Okay. Brave. Do you brave. mind stepping out of the car for me, please? Oh, you said please, and I step out. Well, that was easy enough. Drive, Gordy! I, I'm not, I, we can't just leave her. The fuck we can't drive, Gordy! As they're yelling at each other, I get back in the car. Oh, man. It's true. It wouldn't be right to just abandon a lady in the middle of nowhere. I'm about to blow this motherfucker's brains out. You're a PI. Why? Were, I thought you were supposed to solve crimes. We are supposed to solve crimes, Gordy, and I'm currently working for the mafia, as you are. Ah. Uh, I value my life more than yours. Now, Miss Elizabeth. Hmm. Gordy, as you're sort of being shouted at, you <laughs> sort of feel like you. <laughs> There's a shape sort of coming at you in the distance. Uh, it's one of those dolphins. Is this is another they can run on land. Oh, shit. He's it's a land dolphin <laughs> octopi. <laughs> exactly. And you... He pulled um, over. He pulled over. <laughs> you know, it, it's obviously it flushed out of your mind once the gun went to your head. But, you know, obviously, you know, you there's that, that game, that uncomfortable game you always talk about about horses because you have a tendency what? to run your mouth when you're nervous about things. Um, and... The fact that you've been <laughs> scared of horses all your life since one threw you off in the scouts and was trampled you <laughs> comes into play hey, as hey, horse, oh what no. are you doing is actually defense mechanism <laughs> yeah. yep. to make sure that the hey bear <laughs> hey bear as um you see and not a road trip game <laughs> you do you you sort of see the outline in the nights in the night first oh no as the the tree line has really 
sort of closed in. It was my it's, fault. It's darker, honestly, than the the night sky's allowing. The moon's not really getting in or anything like that. Uh, but now you sort of start to hear this horse, and I need you to roll against your sanity, even as um, JJ <laughs> is yelling with a gun to your head. Oh my God. It's the horse that frightens I, I failed. <laughs> Any rerolls? No. I failed. Uh, by, you by failed. Seven. Uh, and the combination of that and a gun to your head, oh I need no. you to just go ahead and... So Okay, so you failed. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll 1d6. Oh, fuck, that's a five. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and remove that from your sanity and uh -oh. then check it again. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, no, because oh no, he's lost 10 points. Well, no, because there's a gun to your head, too. Oh, yeah. Too bad. And I'm about to pull the trigger if I don't get some Jesus. answers. Oh, that's going to succeed. That's a 22. Okay. So that. He's fine with the gun. Horses, terrifying. Gun it's it's head. more that it's cool. more that cool. he he now he he sees a thing coming at him and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> so no! you rolled. I thought I could tame it. I wanted five. to ride the big one. <laughs> and you just. I was too small. What is it that you're carrying on about? It threw me off and almost stopped Gordy, my head. Gordy, I, I need right. you to keep it together right now. I'm asking you questions with the gun to your head, Gordy. <laughs> Gordy, you just see red. You feel, uh, you sort of hear him yelling at you. You just need to get away. <laughs> no. And driving safely means getting this gun off of you. So you find yourself just turning and just trying to slug, j just reach back and just try to grab JJ's arm. Uh, uh, I, I actually as hard grab as you can. the, I want to grab the barrel of the gun. Okay. Like oh. really tight. Um, then so I can't like. Uh, roll your uh, psychology for me. My oh. psychology. Psychology. Oh boy. We use psychology, you know, just in case. Like, is yeah, this something you would have seen coming? Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. But or if there's a guy that definitely is like maybe has a hidden knife. That's or a something. success. Hey. Okay. This isn't uh, your first. Uh, oh no. Rodeo. Mm -hmm. I'd love. Th I'd love for you to get into a fight with me right now, Gordy. <laughs> So you see him, you see him going for uh, for the barrel of the gun. So go ahead and um, uh, Gordy, roll for go ahead and roll your fighting brawl, and uh, no, that's not good. Uh, will you do the same and you oh, get a yeah. you get a bonus? If I see that going, I'm definitely yeah. You you get a bonus from the from the good psychology roll. First one's a success. I and failed. That's a real uh, so a 27 out of 75. I failed you. by 16. Okay, so you see this coming. 25. You see this coming a mile away. Uh, how do you want to play this out? I'm going to pop him in the back of the head with the <laughs> Oh, with like the Colt. pistol whip him. I'm going to pistol whip him in the back of the head. Okay, well, he's sort of facing you now. So you're oh, then it's going to be right in the forehead. Ugh. Okay. And make him see stars. Okay. Gordy, what the fuck are you doing now? <laughs> ah! I need you to listen to me. Okay, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and roll uh, 1d6. Well, 1d3. So 1d6 divided by 2. Well, that's a that's a that's a one. Okay, uh, add <laughs> add two to it for me since you're hitting him with a blunt object. Well, then that's a three. Okay, uh, you take three points worth of damage Ooh. as this gun just smashes into Jesus. your forehead. I only have ten damage. <laughs> Gordy, I want you to understand something right now. You're working for us. You're working for Jimmy. We work for Jimmy. You work for us. Now, why did you ask this woman to get into the car? Gordy. I didn't want any trouble, okay? It's just they, they Well, you got trouble now. Gordy, you are bro you are you're beyond well, talking at this point. Miss Elizabeth, I, if you value this You know what's man's coming, life, a man's attacking you. Please, just, please, please, I please, suggest please, you step please, out of the car so we can now. continue on please, our way. Please. My name is please. Apollonia Wayworth. Not Miss Elizabeth, crazy that that was a lie. No, he's not a very good liar. <laughs> no, he's not. No, Elizabeth is my middle name though, so he wasn't quite I'm off. a boy scout, we don't lie. Miss oh. Wayworth. Yes. What are you doing in my car right now? I'm looking to make connections. Connections, yeah, we've heard that. We've heard a couple things from you. Listen, hey, uh, War Hero, what do you think about all this? I just find it strange that you just keep asking around for uh, Jimmy and uh, the fact that we're trying to do something and you just seem to keep following us it makes me have the suspicion Following that us? Weren't you the one that left the group earlier? And yet, uh, we were in a group together and you found us. And then we were at this point with the, the group again, and you found us. The random horse that must have jumped a fence <laughs> earlier just walks by the car. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, 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 
Gordy! Ah! Hey horse! I pop hey, him horse, in the head again. Hey horse! I, hey horse! I pop hey, him in the head again. Hey horse! I pop him in the head. Hey, hey, okay. hey, I'm, I'm just gonna pop hey, him in the head. Roll that. Hey, roll that. Hey, roll your brawl. <laughs> Gordy, uh, will you please roll? Um, will you roll against your dodge with a bonus? Because right now you are fully aware of. How I, screwed you are! You I just will say, live. when I go to swing at him, I got a critical failure. I got a 99 on this. So <laughs> okay. I got a critical fail on trying to hit him with this. Uh, okay. Roll. Go and roll. Oh, your dodge. Dodge with advantage. Okay. Yeah. That's not good. That's a 92. So <laughs> advantage. That's fuck. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I missed yeah, the hit here. That's not good. So yeah. the two of you are now just like in a struggle, basically. Uh, <laughs> both of you are trying to sort of overcome each other. This horse is, has <laughs> has walked eating by at this point. <laughs> What's going on? The horse. It's a zombie <laughs> horse. Uh, it's walked by at this point, uh, but now you guys are just locked in a fight. Settle the fuck down. <laughs> There's no way he's settling down. Like, someone's going to physically have to do something. Oh, All right, I'm going to take this. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm going to slap him. Can I slap him at the same time? Yeah, both okay. ladies. <laughs> everyone's go turned ahead. on him. I feel like I'm seeing a repeating pattern <laughs> <laughs> in this campaign. A fucking horse. That's a success. Pumpkin spice. What's okay. the next? <laughs> fucking marshmallow. Wait, what do I roll? What, are, what, what did you roll? Brawl. You're fighting brawl. brawl. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's okay. afraid of the sun. Well, oh, good. <laughs> Why well, I, I fail. That? I completely miss him. Why did you just say that? Okay. I miss him. So, Why did you just say that? So you are going in sort of for a slap. and uh, I just take Florence, off a glove and I try to do yeah, one of Florence those. sort of beats you to it yeah. and leans in and just wails the oh. body. Not enough to get damaged, but enough to sort of get you to your oh. senses a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Ow. Get a hold of yourself. Listen, if we're dealing with the mob, and I'm sure we are, whether she comes with us or not, if she causes any trouble, then they're certain to take her out. So I think I don't we think shouldn't you have how this works. If there's trouble, we all get axed, all right? All of us. That's including you, that's including Gordy, and that's including the war hero and I. She causes any bit of trouble. Jimmy don't like it. She's with us, and it affects all of us. From my understanding, there is some business to be conducted. And you had nothing to do with that and business. after witnessing what I just saw, you need some respectability. Oh, my God. If you want yes, because that makes a lot of sense when we go talk to the mountain people. Oh, please, don't underestimate them. I've dealt with the Welsh. I still don't understand why you're in this car right now, and I want answers, I'm going to start shooting. Because I, owe I was you nothing. invited by this gentleman here. You were there, oh. you were present. Maybe if you could be a, a little... What does that mean, invited? He said, come sit by me. But he doesn't know you. And why are you asking invitation. about Jimmy? I need answers, woman. I am looking to make do business with Jimmy. Well, maybe if you could be a little Jimmy's more specific. Jimmy's back there. We're here. Jimmy's back there. And I also want to see who works for him. Well, now you know. Seems like you got all the answers you need, and you might want to go talk to Jimmy. No. Big Wild. Very exciting. Look. We're losing way too You're much time. You're losing weight. This is very tense. Gordy, this is on you. This, this is on me. And listen. I'm talking right now. One gentleman I tried to put his hands on me. I'm talking and It didn't end very well right for him. Is that why you got now. that blood on your neck? Wait, what? Do I see it now? Oh, I'm straight up showing. Oh. Did you get in some sort of a fight or something? <sighs> didn't have to. Huh. Seems to be going around. Well, your, your argument here isn't making me any more comfortable with you, with you in this car. Well, Not one bit. I, I don't think it would be very nice of us to just abandon her here in, in, in the countryside with the horses and whatnot. Look, so I, br I brought her in, too. The least we could do is give her a ride to town. If we get in trouble, you can put it on me. I'm starting to get this weird suspicion that we might be the fall guys in this situation, War Hero. Yep. That everybody's playing some sort of game on us right now. Yep. And we're getting set up to be thrown down the river. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, we're wasting time. And you did invite someone else on this who really wasn't even supposed to be here. So as far as I know, yeah. no offense. No offense. But uh, 
I'm really in a room full of people that I don't know anybody with, or I don't know anything about you. So, at this point, everyone just continue to be on your best behavior. Uh, let's, I guess, just drive the car. And uh, as long as everyone does what they're supposed to do. No, 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 no. I got a gun in my hand right now, war hero. And I'm responsible for reporting to Jimmy. Yeah. As are you. Yeah. Florence ain't. This woman ain't. And if he makes it back alive, that's a plus for him. We're responsible for this mission. I need answers, not hypotheticals. Not riddles. I need answers. Sure. Or I will unload this clip. All right, if you want answers, I'll start. The fuck I wasn't even asking. Well, I have a particular personal interest in this job myself. Excuse me? Is the horse nearby? <laughs> it's gone at this point. Yeah, it's walked by. It's Can I, like, am I, like, am I literally stuck between the two of them? Yes. You see. <laughs> you gotta get on the horse and leave. You see, I have reason to believe that that Bobby, who Mr. Marizano mentioned, who was working for him uh-huh, on this Bobby, yeah. job, well... You'd know Bobby. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I, I got a particular personal connection to Bobby. Oh, you do? So this ain't just happenstance that you made your way over to that bar and no. made friendly with us. No, it wasn't. But Wait, hey. that's one answer. Now for you. Yes. Claire's day. Apollonia Wayworth, Kensington. Great. England. We got that. Great. Looking to make business. You know, you say that. That seems like a riddle to me. Looking to make business. Make I'm opening up a club in New York. Okay. You open up a club in New York, and this has to do with the hill people, because you want their, you want the, the liquor, the moonshine. Oh, you are clever, aren't you? Finally. It'll be a lot easier if you just say it. I said I'm looking to make business. Look, we're in the It's not my fault you're here. not good at math. Okay. Why did you leave London? Told you. Expanding my business. Would I have had any... And why does anybody come to America anyway? Because they say the streets are paved with gold or something like that. Aren't you supposed to have an open door here? Question. I was going to say, for the brief time in which I was uh, stationed in the UK before going over to France, would I have any understanding or recollection of the establishment that she ran? Probably not. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, all I'm saying is that clearly everybody here has got some sort of personal investment. And if we cause any problem for you, then, well, I can only speak for myself, but you can take me out. I give two shits about personal investment. As far as I'm concerned, Jimmy said you were okay to be on this trip. I don't give any two shits outside of that. You, though, I need something from you to make myself comfortable with this. What's in this for me? If I'm going to put my life on the line and my respect with Jimmy, what's in this for me to allow you to sit in this car? Business. How much? We'll negotiate. I want to know right now. Not once once you put away that gun, we'll negotiate. Somehow, I don't feel like you're too afraid of it. Put away the gun. It's rude. It's rude. Rude, she says. All right. Now, let's talk money. So as you put away the gun and this very tense negotiation begins in this car full of people that have not gotten off to the best of starts. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're sort of starting to drive <laughs> forward. The car starts, <clears throat> continues down the road into the wilderness, and that is where we will leave <laughs> tonight's episode. Let's talk business. Which was called County Lines. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we got there. We got one. there. Just crossed it. Just, Just crossed got it. there. Uh, thank you guys so Yay! much. Welcome back to this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Austin C. Beeman, uh, hashtag phobia for Gordon, for Gordy, horses. <laughs>
Wow, uh, there it is. Thank uh, you. Horses, uh, I love it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Fantasy, uh, thank you for the re-roll. Shadow Piper, Woo! thank you for the re-roll. We needed it. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, Bradley Burnett, thank you for the re-rolls. Uh, <laughs> since I don't have any good idea for phobias, uh, might as well give out some re-rolls. You'll come up with some good ideas. Yeah, I and thank you for the re-rolls. But when in doubt, re-rolls. Just re when, in doubt. when in doubt, just repeat all the phobias Matt had last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Arad and SC uh, gave some, uh, some sanity to uh, Miss Abernathy, Yay! which you noted and you I did, banked. I noted it. Uh, 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 dashing CN uh, and um, someone, uh, I can't find it. Uh, you guys went in. Oh, uh, yeah, Dashing CN. Uh, oh, just him. Uh, just in two different installments, did a, uh, a little bit of insanity for, mm. for poor Gordy. <laughs> oh, uh, Jay Pistol. Gordy. Phobia. Gordy has a fear of creatures lurking in the water. <laughs> That's a good Particularly one. the fabled Ohio River dolphin. <laughs> um, yeah, dolphins in there, Matt. <laughs> Uh, fucking dolphins. I forgot we said, honestly, I forgot we said river. With scales. Uh, with scales, yeah. yeah. they were scaly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I, yeah. that also lets me know you didn't read the email brief about what the show is going to be tonight. No, I, I read it, but See, it I thought it was the Ohio the River. Yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot in the moment. Uh, like, Austin uh, C. Beeman, Phobia, dolphins. Bernard's uh, Fear of Alcohol. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's where so we got funny. started. So thank you guys Woo. so thank much everybody. for tuning in. Thank you guys. I think obviously the next step is to make him fear his own inventions. Yeah. Oh. Hundred percent. Absolutely. I'll throw some things yeah. out here. He invited her. You know, he can make. He could be afraid of uh. Apollonia. Oh, we can let's just let's go for Guys, I think like everyone else creatures. needs some phobias because uh, <laughs> yeah. my character's been fucked with. Well, look now that oh, now wow. that everyone sort of <laughs> yeah. has a better sense of our characters yeah. and yeah. Yeah. who's in the game, you guys are gonna know how best to go for the jugular. No pun intended. Mm. Uh, we'll see you guys. Back here next week at Whee! 7 o'clock. That's uh, right. Yeah. Stay tuned uh, for Magic. Uh, Magic's coming up, but Malika's going to talk to you guys in the corner right now uh, while we set up for Magic. Wow. So Malika's going to hang out with you all for a little bit and Dope. just chill. We got to restart Wirecast. It crashed again in the middle Aww. of the show. So yeah. That's yeah. why you haven't seen much going on there. But uh, we got to get set up for Magic. It's going to take a little bit. Cool. So you guys are going to get to hang with Malika, and, uh, and she'll answer any questions and all that good stuff. So stick around. Yay. Jump in that we'll Reddit. Get in that Reddit. May the madness be, be with, with you. you. Oh, great. I'm horses.